want to say thank you guys for inviting me back up, man. Yeah. It's uh, you know I I, I love I, I love it up here. And, yeah. and your track is off the charts. If it wasn't raining. No, I oh, know, man. man. I really it's, thought. Looks like it's going to open up. I hope so. It. It's just like our luck. All week it's been raining only like for an hour or 20 minutes, and then it dries up, goes away, and we'd be back to racing. Really? But today? No. Yeah. I, every day since Saturday. Yeah. It's been I, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it's dry and sunny. <laughs> Just, just uh, sucks that on our rain day or our race day we have a rain day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me turn this down. Um, get the get the air dryers, uh, Rich Burchell. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need them. Yeah. Um, hey, listen. Let, let, I wanna uh, let's break you down for a little bit. Right? What I mean by that is, uh, how long have you been uh, in the in the RC? I've been doing it for five years. Okay. Yeah. So got into it five years ago and just been kind of gradually growing with it. You okay. know, uh, we were a no prep club for a long time, so this is the first. Last year, we got into prep a little bit. This year, we have went full into prep. You know, it's it's a different battle. It's a different battle. We had our first race was no prep completely, and it was awesome. Um, it, was, it was an amazing uh, experience, but sometimes you got to grow and kind of get with the times, you was, know. What was, no, so that was the first annual? Yeah. It was a completely no prep race. Yep. What, yep. Was, what, what, what was the top times? You remember? Do you, do I you remember? I want to say it was like 2 0s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One nines maybe. <laughs> we were talking about that. Somebody was talking about 100 mile an hour with a dry tire, yeah. which is cool, man. But yeah. I don't know. But yeah. I think a lot of people quit because the prep gets so big, so thick, so sticky that electronics and parts and, you know, it starts breaking stuff and yeah. people are like, I'm not going to keep paying for this. So it's expensive. It, it is. What does what, what an ESC cost right now? Uh, 280? 250, 260. Okay. Yeah. So, so, it's about, so they haven't gone up on price. No. You, it's about the same as it was well, when I got I'll in. I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't bought an ESC. I'm, I still have an R1 from four years ago. No kidding. Still alive same and well. Same one. Yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah. The one that's in my car is probably three years old. Really? That I'm running. Wow. I have my real street car with my original four years old R1, and it's still still kicking. That's crazy. Yeah. But, again, well. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're probably the only one. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and I'll say, because our club isn't huge, we don't run on super thick grooves. Yeah. So that, that plays uh, a part in why our, our electronics have lasted so long. It, it's nice, though, because... You know, that's why we're doing the burnout required. We don't want somebody to come out here and just keep blowing electronics left and right. Right, right, right. I'm going to do something here. Give me one second. Yeah, no here. worries. I'm going to, me and you are going to change this up for one minute. And boom. And let's do that. So that way they can kind of see, they can, they can see. We're going to picture and picture this. Everybody can see the track. Oh, yeah. As it's drying. <laughs> Done. And boom. And there we go. Yeah, now they can see the track while you and I chit chat. Ah, man, that's in the way though. Uh, Abel, what am I doing? <laughs> ah, don't trash. Edit. I need to move this up. Scale. Sorry, guys. No, you're good. I'm gonna leave the track so you guys see it, see what we're talking about. There we go. Perfect. And done. Um. So the first annual Salt City Clash yeah. was all no prep. No prep at all. So, that was in 20 or 21? Oh, let's see. 20. 20. 20. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then we moved to 21. Mm -hmm. COVID is hot and heavy. Yes. Rolling. Oh, yeah. People, People are flowing, mm -hmm. flying, racing, yep. running, grinding. Yep. And then, you know. Did you go to prep in second annual? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So, we've been running prep lightly for a while. Just recently, we started running it more heavy out here, and that's because like people like Supa, he's a traveling racer, yeah. so he practices on some of the thickest grooves that you can come across. You know, it's, <laughs> I'll tell you, I went out there to test before this. It was like a week ago, and no, it was two weeks ago. I broke a ball cup from my diff, a hex pin, a spur gear, another spur gear. And then something else. I made seven passes, never made a pass. I was like, man, that's rough. Wow. Yeah, broke all kinds of shit. My electronics are still good, but it was just little parts. So I was good to get those out of the way before this race. Yeah. But it's it it that's where people start dropping out of this stuff. You know, they yeah. they start breaking yeah. stuff. Electronics are expensive, and then they you know say they wad up a car, and then they're like, I'm done with this. This is 
a thousand dollar car, two thousand dollar car. You know what's crazy to me, man, is is three. Well, this is going to be pushing into the fourth year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the people still this the, the it's the diehards, man. I'm yes. just going to use this name. Yeah. I know there's a lot of diehards out there. I know you all travel. I'm going to use his name for a reason. And uh, Chris, uh, where's he at? Buchanan. Buchanan. Yes. Man, he travels like a crazy man. Oh yeah. But he did tell me. We were talking yesterday. He's like, dude, I don't know how much more I can do it. It's expensive. It is. I said, bro, hell yeah. No. You know, because flight. You'll know. Hotel, first, yeah, I know. Oh I can God. tell you. <laughs> Flights, hotel, rental cars, yes. and food. Yeah. <laughs> and then race entries and parts. and it, it gets expensive. That's why we host a race because a lot of us aren't fast enough to go and potentially win those. Uh, the and I'm speaking for me and my, my small little team out here. Um, people like Supa, he's won one, you know. Yep. He, so he makes those travelings, he, and it's worth it to him. For yes. me, I'm, I'm, you know, low 1-6 car. I'm, I'm not going to go and knock the doors off and win a huge event, you know. So we do this because we can host races for other people to come, and I can race in a big national. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have to go do all the traveling. <laughs> I, I Going to Vegas is He's got to go 30 minutes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm about 30 minutes away. Um, Vegas is is the place that I've raced the most with King of the Streets multiple times. Five hours? Uh, yeah. Six, yeah. About five, six? Five, yeah. Five, five yeah. and a half, six. And it that's doable. But okay. I'm an impatient person. So driving, <laughs> it, you know, my little WRX, those, those <laughs> seats, man, it's not comfortable. I could be a little impatient, too. Oh, but oh, I yeah. don't have road rage, Abel. <laughs> Abel, Abel, <laughs> I don't have road rage. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bro, you get those stuck semis. behind those people. No, oh. it's the people that sit in the left lane. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, we're flying up this, this freeway right here. Yeah, high 15. Wide open. Mm -hmm. We're wide open. I'm in the right lane. Yeah. And everybody, and I'm passing people in the right lane. I'm like, you know, man, you guys are crazy. Yeah. No, Utah is a different breed, man. It is a different breed. People from other states are like, man, your, your drivers are crazy out Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so from the second annual, we go off to the th – so from the, from the first – okay, let's do this. From the second annual to the third annual, what did you do different prep-wise? Um, do you remember? I'm trying to think. No, what I think the difference is is people started using more prep. So the, the second annual one, we allowed prep. We weren't running three, four, five coats – Spunk was never a thing. That's right. Um, even the the third annual spunk wasn't a thing, or these thicker. I, I don't want to started to. I think. Yeah, I it think started coming around. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And people were layering it. You know, five, six, seven, eight coats, and that's where. <clears throat> so excuse me. That's where things start getting. You know, sticky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I have a picture from a bug that was stuck on the groove this morning. I was got here, started setting up. Oh, and oh, oh he flew in. It was like a beetle. He walked across it, and he was stuck like a mousetrap. Poor guy. I know. He's, I tried to help him out, but I broke his legs he off. He was on the way to church, man. <laughs> yeah. I felt he was really, doing the crosswalk. I felt really bad. was like, man, that poor little beetle. But he was stuck. Yeah. Know? So if you need, you know, bug traps, <laughs> lay some prep out, man. You'll get them. Lay it time. along. And for scorpions, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of scorpions, Wendy got oh my stung this week, bro. By yeah. a scorpion? Yeah, what? man. Yeah. It was, wow. not, it was nuts, dude. She calls Did me. Did she, like, react? React, it? bro. She calls me up, and I, I was I was in the middle of something. Like, I was in the I'm middle of something pretty important. <laughs> My wife is screaming at the top. I just got bit by a scorpion. I'm like, what? 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 I go. You know what I said? Go to urgent care. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Mm. I love you and everything, honey, oh, but yeah. I'm not gonna come suck that venom out. <laughs> 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 so okay. So from two to three. Yeah. Uh, you know. Not a big change. Yeah. Now from three to four. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk about that. It's just you know, I want to talk about it. I'll tell you why. A lot of new people are coming in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were not back when, when it was dry tire. Yeah. And now you go, you go, and we'll use you. First year dry tire, second year dry prep, uh, yeah. third year prep. Now we're in full. It's just oh, full yeah. on. Yeah. You know, and, and so the, the newbies coming in, you know, give them a little insight of what to look yeah, for. They don't, they don't expect it, you know. And I got my first taste of it. I raced King of the Streets last year. And the groove was getting thick, but I never got stuck. I still, I didn't even know what I was doing back then yeah. because we don't race in that type of uh, environment with that thick of stuff. Um, but people see these cars going, you know, you got these super fast guys that love that thick groove and they're like, oh, that's easy. But then when they start trying to do it, it's like your car has to be set up very specific. You have to have a very specific tune, yeah. you know, just to be able to get out of that. So they... All these new guys see them just ripping out of the prep, and all oh, that looks easy. I can do that until they get involved, you know, and then they start popping ESCs and blowing tires, and 
It, I mean, it comes down to the finest details. If your tire isn't glued 100%, you're going to rip that bad boy right off the yeah. right off the bead, and you're going to be screwed. I've only seen one guy stick today. Yeah. Brad Uriah. Yeah. He's the only one. Yeah. And right? The, Am I right? No. Yeah, that's I the think only I'm right. one. I think Brad is the only one that's stuck. Yeah. Yep. And he was on the very... I'm trying to remember. Did he sit there for a minute? I don't know. You know what, man? I, I when I'm talking, I, I just remember him sticking. But I think he was on the because you, you got four grooves. Yeah. So I think he was on the very inside groove. Yeah, that's the that's the open lane that we started last night. So that's the thickest groove. So that it's we got have. the thickest, and mm -hmm. that's the one he got stuck yep. in. But then the uh, he was racing against uh, uh, Von Tunchlinski. Yeah. He he came out of the same lane, but he had a good run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, that's the thing is like this prep just gets so thick, man. It, <laughs> Dude, it it's I crazy. That prep. I don't remember where I was. I think I was at that. Uh, where the hell was I, man? And I had my flip. I used to wear flip flops a lot. Oh. I, I was walking all set. I thought I was like a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in the prep. Stuck in the oh, prep. But my, my flip flops wasn't coming out. Um, and you got people like me. I'm all about OG preps. I, I won't even go to this thing. I've never run Spunk. I've never run any of that stringy stuff. Okay. That's just my preference because I don't want to kill electronics. I'm just staying. That's cool. You know, true to the OG preps that they're sticky. They'll get sticky, but it takes a lot longer for that to happen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, locally, most of us only run OG preps. You know? Everybody. And, and yeah, for the most part. And <laughs> so it helps. Wh which, which brand? Uh, we because because the reason stuff. I say this, you say OG. Yeah, I think new people. So we'll, we'll, we'll like yeah, get, get, get some stuck. brands. Get stuck. Get stuck. Yeah. Um, well, what about Reaction T? I heard through the grapevine, and he does all my painting. But yeah. is he quitting? Yes, he that's, is. That's Tony. what I heard. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. heard that too. I and heard that too. I've used his stuff back in the day, and it was it was good stuff. Yeah, you yeah. know, I've I've tried Kelly Ray's. Uh, yeah. his stuff is his Beetle stuff juice. Is yeah, was it the Beetle? I, no, no, no. It, it I was like the, uh, the the white stuff. Um, Oh my gosh! Well, he had bug guts. Bug guts. That's but it. I like the other stuff, the gremlin goo. Gremlin goo. Yes. yes. It was just less sticky and it was easier to clean. So I, you know, that's the problem is when you get into all this stuff, you start. It's little things, but it's a lot, and it yeah. starts adding up, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. takes a lot of time. And that's where some people will end up quitting because they start this. And they're like, oh, these guys are going fast. Until they realize, like, it's your tunes, it's your tires, it's your gluing, it's your foams, it's your <laughs> ride height, it's your shock oil. It's, you know, it goes. It's called it, work. Yes, yeah. lots of work. We, um, we, we've talked about this time and time again. People that are, that come to these races and great, big guys, small guys, whatever. Yeah. You know, if you are new coming into the genre, you know, it, it, and, and you think you're going to come in. Well, I, 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 listen. Luck is a good thing. Yes. But if you think you're going to come in when you know, 10, 20 grand, it takes, it takes, these guys are putting the time and the oh, yeah. effort into, you know, Hours. The, I, I, I've known guys two, three, four o'clock in the morning, man. Oh, They're yeah. out there testing to yeah. get that data yep. to come in to try to bring home that big I'll win. I'll be honest, Super is one of the most consistent, just persistent people. He's always out testing. Testing. Always, you know, he's always pushing the boundaries and it's good to see because me and him came into this around the same time. He is more persistent and more just adamant about, you yeah. know, he, he's a traveling racer, so he puts in a lot of time. Um, and it's exposing our club to conditions that we're not used to, which is good because when you, even this race, you know, it's going to start getting thick where you need to know where to go from there. You yeah. know, if yeah. you have, and what I was told, you know, you always want to, if you're going to go in a big groove, you want to blow the tires off and not get stuck because if you get stuck, your electronics are shot right yeah. there, or yeah. most of the time. So, yeah, well, we're all still learning. We we are not heavy preppers. We've learned a lot from Supa because he travels. You know, Eli's out here now. Um, yeah. Those guys are they're at it. You know? Yeah, they, they are, are, man. They sure <laughs> are. Jay Joseph, what's up, big dog? What up, Jay? Jay? Joseph's in the house. Nick Hill. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Is he still here? Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so okay. So we went from one to two, two to three, three to four. Yeah. What do you see? Let me ask you this. What do you see from four to five? Uh, so there's Predict actually something. me and uh, Chris uh, Swartz were talking. Um, anyways, I don't need to point to him. No, no, you're um, good. You're good. He brought up a good, uh, good um, solution where he was. I was telling him about maybe doing next year a spec, uh, spec prep race where, but that sucks because it, it monopolizes just one prep, and you got people that are running for this brand and that brand. <clears throat> That's I think, tough. I think the idea is great because then you know it's all consistent. It's the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But Chris brought up a really good point. I don't know if he wants me to spill the beans I on I probably it, wouldn't because I don't know what you're going to say. No, no. He was just saying take two preps and battle it out. Say you like 
red monster and we like get stuck, you have basically teams or grooves of just get stuck and grooves of just red monster and have a whole race where that prep is only in that lane and this prep is only in this lane. Why can't you do that with all of them? Gosh, I wish we could, man. <laughs> it, there's so much that gets into it. Like, we've tried everything we can to minimize the prep buildup on the line. But yeah. Why do you think we do a burnout required? Nobody else does that. King of the Streets did that um, the first year, I think. Maybe it was even the, the uh, last year they might have done it. I wasn't there the first year. It was the second year, but I didn't pay attention yeah, to that. I, my first time was their second year. I want to say they did burnout required, and it built up slower. So when that's gotcha. the thing we tried here. That makes sense. Is to do a burnout and no heat after tech because when you're slopping on, you know, five coats of, of spider or stringy stuff, and then you heat it, and then you run, it it can turn really messy really fast really quick yeah. yeah so it it it's tough so we did the burnout required which i feel is is worked and then we gave options for tape grooves so we have og yeah with an og tape groove and then an open with an open tape groove and then og with a tape groove it just gives us options and it it spreads the field out so not everybody's trying to run on just one groove did you get any backlash from that? Not necessarily, no. Okay. So most of these guys have been pretty open with it and just running the, the way we set the, the race up, you know. Hasn't been a lot of uh, stink brought up. I'm not sure if she's staring at me, dude. <laughs> She might have been staring. Well, I look the, over. The, I've, I've just the, kind of looked over. I see my wife staring at me. And I wave a couple times. She didn't wave. I'm like, what are you like? Um, so it sounds like you got it under control. Yeah. No. And, if, and, and if, listen, here. Here's how you know it's not under control. Because ain't nobody bitching. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, and, and, you know, everybody has their ways of doing things and programs that they run. We were upfront and honest, transparent. Perfect. You know, so it should burnouts be. Burnouts required. No heat after tech. We want to keep it true because... You know, you get into these races, and everybody has their own specific ways to do things, and they want to kind of push that agenda yeah. onto it. Like, oh, you know, we should do this, and we should do that. And at the end of the day, there was some questionable things that we we're like, ah, oh, maybe we should do that. And we we're like, no, this is how we advertise the race. It has to be that yeah. way. So, yeah, but you start changing stuff after you advertise. Yes. You, now you're looking for a problem. Exactly. <laughs> Big problems. And we all know every race, every race the following Monday, there's... Oh, There's that chatter. Always. So um, I want to I ask you about what happened earlier. So uh, we were racing, we're clicking, we're knocking down rounds, and all yeah. of a sudden, we stop. Yeah. And then there was, a, there was a gang of people up here. Yes. You changed some rules. No. Oh. It was, they, they wanted to. We had people partic or, uh, like petitioning to, to and, and there was reasons for it. So we did no, pre or no uh, heat after no, tech. After tech. But some people were taking their time. And they were prep or uh, heating, and they're supposed to be up racing. Gotcha. So we were like, you know what, we got to heat after tech, and we we're like, no, we we had people that practiced for months to come to this race with no heat after tech. So in what you put in your rules exactly. to begin with. So okay. we ended up saying, you know what, don't bring your your heat guns to even the tech table because that's oh, what was happening. Good. Is why they were getting teched, they're getting it's good. they're getting heat on, but. They were up to race, and yeah. then it was pushing the next group behind, and then the next group, and then there was also brought up that if you were teched first, then the person that was teched behind you has um, has an advantage because they were able to heat longer. So we said, you know what? Don't bring your heat guns up here. Heat it at your table. If you need your tires a certain degree, warm them up real good before you walk up. To Figure tech. it out. Yeah. <laughs> and because when you get to the corner of of, of the of your uh, your 801 no prep racing yeah. uh, tent, yeah. it's over. <laughs> exactly. And so yeah, we just said leave your heat guns at your tables. Get them warm. Walk up. And that's the thing. Last night we were all testing, having a great time. Yeah. Nobody brought a heat gun up to any Last tables. night. Yeah. Yeah. They were just like, and I get it because it was more fluent where they could be at their table, warm up, walk up, make a pass. You know, there's there's always going to be that. I I practice with very minimal uh, heat in my tires because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get that exact same thing. So I would just put a little bit of heat to them, and my car's been working. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's. Everybody has their own style, own ways. You know, there's dudes that want to want to prep their tires and heat them up right on the line. And Stick it's like, it down, let it sit in the crowd. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, you know, we ran this race this particular way. Everybody was good enough to, you know, say, okay, I'll go to your race. And they came. And it, it's been great so far. We did have to, you know, kind of clear that. But outside of that, it's been awesome. Yeah. So from four to five, 
You're not sure yet, really. Not yet. You really think about yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. You know, last time we got here, the, you know, one, the, a lot of things, you know, in 2023, as much traveling as I did, as much tracks oh, that yeah, I went man. to, you don't even know the gripes and the bitches and the complaints I heard. So when I get to a track, yeah. I'm always like, okay, what's the gripe? Yeah. Let's figure it let's, out. Uh, yeah, and bro, last it. night, man, everybody's like, man, this, tr this, this, this track is on point. It's yeah. perfect. It's great. So that, you know, to hear that when you start a race is great, man. Oh, yeah. Because you, you know, at least we're moving into the race in, a, in, a, yes. in, in the right positive, the right positive yeah. way. No. Um, yeah, like I said, every after every race, you know, and most of the people that complain online, they're not even at that race. Dude, it's been like that for three and a half years. Yeah. So we call yeah. them, what do we call them? Keyboard warriors, exactly. dude. Oh, always, yeah. you know. Sit home. Exactly. Yeah, no, <laughs> let us go have fun. I mean, we're yeah. all out here having fun. We're sitting in rain. No, I'm, okay, I thought you were going to bring that up. I'm not going to eat that <laughs> while I'm talking good. to you. Um, Okay, good. Yeah. So uh, th now, the next thing I want to do, uh, this is something I've never done before, okay. and I want to do this with you. <laughs> Did he take it? I didn't do it. <laughs> um, I want to go. I want. I want to go through all, the, all your sponsors. Okay. I've never done this before. Okay. You know, a lot of people when that do live stuff, you yeah. know, they, they put the, the they put the, the the their their logo up. Yeah. You know. It's cool. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. But to really dive into sponsors, you know, because I know everyone. I I know almost everyone, and you do. Oh, yeah. I know you do. Yeah. And I want to do it different this time. Okay. So that way people really do go back and listen to this. And if you if you are a true RC drag racer, you you, 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 you kind of know the sponsors that are here oh, and yeah. what they do. Yeah. So let's break it down, man. Your title sponsor, Crumps Welding and Automotive. Yes. He's a local Hold to on. us. I love the fact that you got somebody outside of the of the of the genre to bring him in. Yeah. That's yeah. good. No, he's a good dude. He he races with us, but he does um, all kinds of custom fabrication on exhaust and any kind of welding stuff. And, and it's ironic because our uh, lane sponsor, Cali's, he's a local, and that's what he does. And he does it mobile. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he'll go, like, to restaurants and, and weld whatever, you know, handrails, yeah. grills, whatever needs to be fixed. Cool. He goes and does it. So, yeah, it's cool to get outside presence of, of you know, local businesses that are sub that making us is awesome absolutely man so and then that'll so that'll push us off to uh to you know it's crazy talk about welding i i dude i grew up grew up in a, a little place called casa grand stanfield farming area yeah. that, that's what i did really yeah i had a, I, I had a i had a a rig i had a big bobcat uh, miller bobcat with uh i had the uh this, dude i was 18 years old oh yeah Brother, I had this setup. My mom bought it for me. I love my mom. Rest <laughs> in peace, mom. I love you. I'll yeah. see you soon. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> I love Don't my mom, that. bro. Yeah. Um, she said it. I said to my mom, I was like, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know, mom. She goes, you're really good at welding. You did welding for four years. Here, here. Here's your... Dude, she hooked me up. So what I would do is I'd go to all the farms, mm -hmm. and I'd hard face. Yeah. At 120 degrees outside, bro. Oh, it, that was a wrong profession. That in Arizona? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, my it was gosh. crazy no. hot. It was crazy stupid. So I get the welding thing. Yeah. So cool. I, did, I really like the fact you guys are kind of reaching out, bringing in different people. Oh, man. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know, there has been other people that's done that too, which oh, has yeah. been pretty cool. Yeah. And that'll push us off into voodoo. I'll let you go off into voodoo, man, because yeah. he's, he's one of your big oh, sponsors. Yeah. No. He has been for a couple, yep. uh, three years? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's He's been awesome. So he was... Originally, we were waiting on him to respond on being the title sponsor yeah. because he did that last year and he wanted to do it again. Um, we were waiting on that, and then Crump stepped up and was like, "Hey, I want to do that." And yeah. we hadn't heard yet, so we, you know, we had to go with the local. But then Voodoo was like, "You know what? I'll do you your lane sponsor, and I'll send you, you know, the same amount that we would have." Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be your title, cool. we we're like, "Awesome!" You know. So let's talk about Voodoo. Um, yeah. I, I believe it's at six dot com. Yeah. So if new people come into the show yeah. or come not to the show, into the into the genre, at six dot com. He makes drag drag race oh, tires. Yeah. He makes wheels, yep. crawler tires. Crawlers, yeah. Uh, what else does he do? Uh, he does shocks. He does all kinds of stuff. You know, um, I only know, I think he's got some wheels out. Maybe yep. for crawlers. Not not for drag cars, but for crawlers. No, I thought he had wheels for... He might. Sure he does. Oh, yes. Yes, he yes. does. Yes, he's he got does. those new nylon ones. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes he has them. Yes, yes. <laughs> I yes. was like, I just... I was thinking of I just aluminum gave some to ones. somebody. I had some sitting in my shop, and yeah. I gave them to yes. somebody. Yes, I so, haven't ran those ones yet. You haven't ran them? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. But they look good. Yeah, I, mean, look I good. see a lot of people with them on there. Voodoo is just awesome. I don't. I've never ran anything else other than Pro Line when we were first into it. Dry tire. But as soon as I got into Voodoo's, you can't go back. You know. And there's some other manufacturers that are coming up, and they're they've got some good products out there. I think a couple guys out here on the Accelerant brand. 
they're they're just as fast, you know. For me, I haven't never ran that, so I'm just I'm staying voodoo. Sticking to your guns. Yeah, you voodoo's awesome. Your- I love those. I got one tire at King of the Streets 2022. Okay. Uh, Tony Cortesi. Gave yeah, me yeah, a I remember set. Tony. Yeah. And that's when we were still dry tire. So I came up here. And I was whooping everybody's ass because I had a vo- <laughs> nobody silver. else had them. Yeah, nice. So people were upset about that because they were still new to the to the uh, to the hobby. And back then, it was like if you had them, that was like a piece of gold. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the voodoo. Yeah. So you, we had it's like it's like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I got some ice cream. You didn't get exactly. any. <laughs> yeah, no. For, Tony Cortesi gave me a set to try out, and I'll be real with you. I brought them back to Salt Lake, and I was like, eh, just pushed them to the side. And then we were out racing, and the surface was terrible. We were all struggling, just slipping and sliding. Reds, golds, or silvers? I only had silvers. Okay. So he gave me some silvers. I was like, hold on, different compounds of the tires. I yeah, I want to yeah. make sure because, like I said, oh, man, yeah. there's new people coming. Yes. So when you when you when you reach out to Voodoo and you're looking for tires, they have reds, golds, and silvers. Yeah. Dif- different compounds for different traction, different uh, oh, yeah. surfaces. Yeah. Sorry. So he gave me some silvers and. I had never ran them. I had no experience with them. I slapped them on my car, and I was much faster than everybody else. That's crazy. On a surface, we couldn't even make it down, and it was like, okay. But back then, we were dry tires, so we were doing burnouts to warm up the tires right. instead of tire warmers. Right, right. I killed those things in like two weeks, and I was like, man, <laughs> when can I get another set? $200. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you got those black market You remember people. that, bro? When, yeah. when Voodoo was so popular back in the day, I'm going to say like three years oh, ago. Yeah. When I say not popular, still popular, but but like when Voodoo came out, man, I remember on eBay, they were going for like $200, yeah. and people were paying for them. Remember I've that? Them oh, you seen them that much? Reds for like wow. 400 on eBay, and I'm like... That's crazy. I've, I'm on the same set of reds that I started this season on, and they're still in good shape. You know, it, that's the one thing that prep has done is it's prolonged the life. You of don't tires. go through the tires yeah, as because much. you're not sitting there burning them out. Even tire warmers, you know, uh, those extend the life of the tires because you're not sitting there burning them out yeah. to get them warm. So you slap them on. You even use tire warmers anymore? I do on my real street car. I was car. say, I haven't seen a tire warmer in a no, minute. <laughs> no, real street car because it's dry tire. Dry tire, yeah. yeah. I put some reds on there, and uh, it's an absolute beast. Nice, yeah. nice, Fun. sweet. Fun. I love it. Let's push us off into live action tire prep. Tony Ton. Okay. Oh, awesome Cra- dude. Crazy guy. Awesome dude. Awesome. No, uh, I. he's actually one of my personal sponsors. Oh, for, okay, good. For, yeah, conditioner. Uh, Perfect. That's even better. Yeah. Now we can talk about it. Yeah, conditioner. Uh, <clears throat> he's, he's a good dude. Um, I was introduced to his product from another friend of mine, Chris McGown, uh, got me on it, and I've been using it since. I think it's the best conditioner out there, and uh, I don't see myself using anything else. You know, nice. Yeah. And, and how do you? Uh, how can you get live action tire prep? Just through Facebook. Yeah, Tony yep. Ton. Yep. So if you guys are looking to get any any t- uh, uh, conditioner, tire conditioner, oh, yeah. he he makes prep now too, and I've tried it. It's really good. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I've been. I really. I'm really pulling myself off of Facebook. I've, yeah. I've, I'm pulling out. I actually befriend. Defriend. What do you call it when you unfriend? unfriend? I unfriended 46 people yesterday. I just I, I don't yeah get out yes. we're done yes. we're done no. or I don't know who Facebook you are Facebook is toxic and it makes I'm, it easy toxic. to get to that point it is I think you know all about the Facebook toxic, oh, bro. toxicity yeah uh, yeah the toxicity uh, I love bad. it it's bad so if you're looking for a, t- a tire a conditioner it's li- live action tire oh, prep yeah. man hit Tony he, Ton he has all kinds of different kinds for different tires so kind of like Voodoo where you have reds and golds and he has I haven't tried them all I use uh, watermelon I love it yeah um, but he has different ones like peach and blackberry and watermelon. No kidding, and, huh? Yeah, for yeah. all different types of um, tire compounds. That's wild. So reach out to him, get some information off of that. Great, great, great conditioner. I would yeah. never. Plus a good guy, man. Oh, you yeah. know, knowing that you're you're looking for a product and knowing that the owner, the guy that yeah. runs it, is a good dude. Yeah, it kind of it, it kind of makes it. He races. Yes, that's yeah, because they're in Rockingham. Right? I guess it's rained yeah. out too, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just America. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, so Tony Todd, if you're watching, man, uh, great job, dude. Yeah. Uh, go hit him up on Facebook, man. Live action tire yep. prep. And uh, according to Adam, I don't run, so I, yeah. I, I, I have no yeah. opinion. You can't go wrong. Yeah. No, uh, let's stuff. push off the shark bodies. Okay. Shark Paul has sponsored our event. Four years. Yes. He was Because I, I remember I didn't come to number one. Mm-hmm. I didn't make number two because I was sick. Yeah, the I other the other team but came. Wendy and Foster and Foster and, Foster came. Yeah. and Abel. That, yeah, that was and awesome. And then uh, so Shark did uh, four years, right? Yeah, this will be the fourth year. Yeah, it, awesome. Talk uh, about his bodies, man. Best to be honest with okay. you. I mean, it's hard. I'm trying all kinds of different bodies lately. 
something. I, I got a shark on my car today. You know? it, and it's sharkrcbodies.com, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe sharkbodiesllc.com. No, I think no. it's. I know. Let's before we yeah, go any further, guys. <laughs> let me make sure. And his bodies are just tough, man. Like they, they. A lot of people don't like the extra weight. I run the 060, and he's one of the only ones that offers that option. And I feel like those bodies, you don't need all this extra bracing, adding all this weight, because it is heavier, but it's stronger body. He finally, he he must have got rid of, he, he it's not sharkrcbodies.com no more. It's sharkbodies.com. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. good. It, you, I remember there was RC in it, I believe, it's a couple years yeah. ago when I used to talk to him. And I think um, I think he he got the, the website. So looking for a body, um, I know nothing about him, oh, yeah. sharkbodies.com. Yeah, the Black Widow, the Freak Show. Those are my two favorites. I'm running a Black Widow today, but before that. The freak it's show, sick, by the way, I saw, I, I, I saw it. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah. good. I flipped it down at the end, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We got pictures. What is the uh, what? What's the go-to body for um, real street? Real street. Um, kind of what's the go-to? So uh, again, shark. I'm no, on no. A, I, I know shark, but uh, the, the name of the body. Yeah, shark Mako. Mako. That's the one I run. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, you can run the Black Widow because it's full bumper. So it's it's a crossover between an outlaw and a real street. So a lot of people run the Black Widow. I run that on my car today on the Outlaw, but I run personally on my personal real street is a Shark Mako. And it's he had another uh, version of it. I don't remember the name of it. I never ran it before then, but it had a molded in wing, and then mm. he molded it without the wing so that it could be real street because you have to have the trunk and the rear fenders. Right, right, right. So he made that. I'm, you know, I made a wing for it and I love that body. Nice. It's it's badass. What's what what's what's the uh, what's the go to for outlaw? Uh, the uh, freak show. Yeah, freak show. Black Widow. Those are both great options. I see people. Oh, he's got a couple others. Um, Chaos. Um, he's got some crazy names. So I. I so I so I so I see he's named one Mako. Has is there a great white? Is there a tiger? Is no, there anything no, like that? Okay, not, okay, not okay. I'm yeah. sure that's down. You the know, pipeline. you think. Listen, I'll be, I'll be honest, with you, baby. If if my name was Shark, but every body would be a shark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hammerhead, something like Hammerhead, that. Hammerhead, yeah, yeah no. dude. That'd be bad. But Paul's a good dude. Um, he supports me. I support him. I've been running his bodies for long, long time. Uh, my first. Well, I can't say my first. No, I've been running. Uh, shark bodies before he did like full out drag bodies. You remember the the square ones? Yeah. I used to I used to mount them and cut the bumper off and move the bumper up so that it would be all set like a wedge <laughs> and people would all, you know, back then you either loved shark or you hated shark. Yeah, people yeah, were yeah. bashing them. Yeah. They worked good for me. I loved them. God, so I remember that, he, bro. He caught a lot of flack, but he's just pushed and pushed and the bodies he's putting out, I mean, they're winning races left and right and nice. they're great quality. Yeah. That, that's, uh, there's Every manufacturer, I've ran tons, you know, Proline, they, they're they great. Racer RC, there's so many good bodies out there that I, I don't want to say I'm one or the other because I'm a wing manufacturer. Yeah, so right, I right, 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 right. And yeah. then I'm like, oh, I want to run that because I love the wing I designed. So I'm trying all kinds of different bodies. And it's nice, but my go-tos are tend to be shark. Shark. Mm -hmm. Okay, right on. Love it. Sharkbodies.com, man. If you're looking for a body for yep. your car, uh, he's he's named them all off almost. Yeah. Go check them out. I know he does I know he does dirt oval stuff too. Yes. 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 Dirt oval guys. Go oh, check yeah. them out. Uh, push off into Macklin Racing. Okay. Yeah. Macklin, um, they their motors are great. I ran one last year. Um, I blew an ESC and it kind of fried my motor. So I, I put an R1 in, but Macklin uh, makes great products, you know. I've I've seen good batteries from them, ESCs. Um, you know, everything. They're, they're, they do a pretty good job. And it's Macklin-Racing.com. So if you guys are looking to looking for motors, ESCs, yeah. uh, Willie, you deal with Willie when you? No. Who are you deal with? Um, Ian? That would be, pop, yeah, I think so. Christina yeah. and yeah. Mikkel. Because Ian's the, he's he like team like manager? A, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys shoot over to Macklin, it's hyphen racing, Macklin. Yeah. McClan, Ma if, McClan, okay, if you're Macklin. watching, it's Macklin or McClan. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> it's, yeah. I fight with that kid all the time. Yeah. Um, but the, I know their motors are, are ridiculous. A lot of people love that 6600. I, I'm not sure on the 7500. I've never ran that, but I did run the 66, and it was a it was a great motor. Hey, we looking good, Abel? Check everything. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, I was gonna hop in here. Let me pop in here real quick. Um, boom. 
So if you guys go to Macklin-Racing.com, he does batteries, ESCs, motors, Bluetooth ESC programmers. He's got pit tools, accessories, apparels, and he has he even has a discontinued uh, tab. Let's see what's discontinued. Let's see what we can buy today. <laughs> uh, there's nothing discontinued, Willie. Come on. <laughs> How soon? Okay. Don't go. Don't don't leave me. <laughs> um, all right. Let's keep, let's go. Uh, so, Macklin. So, guys, if you're looking for any of that, uh, Macklin-Racing.com. Yep. Uh, go check them out. And I'm pretty sure Ian Goodfellow, which is here this yeah. weekend, I'm pretty sure he is a team manager, yes. man. So yep. hit him up if you're if you're interested in yep. uh, sponsorships and stuff. I, I think the way that Macklin does it is you, they actually you go in their website and they have a sponsorship where you click on it to mm -hmm. you know to do stuff like that. Okay. Uh, get stuck. RC Get's Drag stuck. Racing oh. Tire Prep. One of the best, man. Jeff that's Zook. A, that's all I run. You know, somebody gave me some a while ago and said, try it. It's the best. You know, um, I believe it's the best. Uh, as far as OGs, you know, I'm sure everybody has their different um, preferences on style and how they work. So for me, I've got uh, Get Stuck, and I love it. I, I won't even try anything You're else. You're good. Yeah. I mean, I've... I've thought about you know trying some other brands but i've just got my program dialed into what his prep is that i'm just like i don't see a need to, to yeah, change yeah, it yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it's so good if it works that'll turn on um and like i said i only run the og stuff you know i've i've said this story on the air multiple times about zook yeah. you know two let's see oh my gosh it's 2024 this is going to be the first King of Smokies, which is going to be 22. Yeah. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Foster and I started becoming what we are today. Oh, yeah. Real good friends. Yeah. Awesome. I talked to him today. He's in the hospital. If anybody oh wants to know gosh. about he's he's working through some things. Yeah. I, he, I actually had him on FaceTime. He went and said hi to some guys. Wow. And... Um, He did the first King of Smokies one, uh -huh. and I'm walking through the, you know, back then, dude, I didn't have, I didn't have what I have right now, brother. Yeah. I could, I could, he could pop on a thing and go. Oh yeah. Back then it was just different, and uh, I was walking around and I met Jeff. Yeah. I was literally walking through and I met this guy and he, and he walks up to me and he goes, "Hey man, I just want to say thank you. I didn't know him." Yeah. And I said, "Okay, man." He goes, "I'm Jeff Zook, Zookerel." Yeah. I call him Z Zook, and uh, he goes, "Man, because you know, without you." I my, my 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 family couldn't watch what I do, yeah. and with because of what you're doing, because you started this live. The person that started was was Matt Olson. Was started the live stream, and then I popped in uh -huh. at the first second King of Streets, and that's when live streaming went crazy. Oh yeah, and he's like, dude, because of you, my family can see it. It's yeah. awesome, and yeah. I just want to say thank you. And I'll, I'll always remember that story uh, uh, from Zook forever. Oh you yeah, know what I mean, no, he's a good dude. Uh, yeah, no, he he makes great products. I've never ran Spunk. A lot of people love it. I I don't. Uh, I not that I don't love it. I've never tried it, so yeah. I don't know. Perfect. Um, but I love the OG. The OG is the way to go for me because it's just it's not over. You know, over crazy amount of, of strings. That's the way I prefer. And like I said, everybody has their their preferences on prep. But I think either way, you like spunk or you like OG. Guess stuck is one of the best out there. I'm not sure if Jeff has a website, but I know you can find him on Facebook. Yeah. Gets find dude. Just put just in Get Stuck. Or Jeff Zucker. Or Jeff Zuck. Yeah, you'll, he's, he's everywhere, man. Yeah. So go go hit him up. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking for any tire prep, your newbies out there, um, he's hitting plus, like you said, good dude, man. Oh, yeah. Um, that'll push us off to TH Designs. Okay. And uh, he paints. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Taylor Holcomb. Taylor Holcomb. Yep. He's, a, he's a stud, man. He's actually the one that painted my shark that I'm running. Oh, today. he did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had him paint that up. He does some cool, like, realistic um, flame designs. And... I can't do that myself. So I, I usually paint all my own body. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. All my bodies are painted by me. Okay. Um, I bought one from Donut Boy because Donut Boy is a sponsor here. So uh, well, I'm sure we'll get into We're that. We're going to get but, to it. Yep. Um, Taylor, I was like, you know what? He's been supporting me because he's a body painter. So he And he is huge with, with shark bodies. And so he goes and buys... Um, or he, he orders a bunch of shark bodies, and then he orders some wings for me and offers them with his paint designs. So, no kidding. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. So uh, he's a good dude. Um, we we all are so small that we kind of, like, support each other, you know, yeah. so that we can all kind of help each other grow. He lives in Utah? No. He's from Oregon. Oregon. Okay. Yes. So now I'm going to talk about Taylor. I met Taylor 
in Oregon at the Northwest Gambler last yes. year, uh -huh. and that's when I saw his first. That the, the, I saw this paint job, and I'm like, damn, yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I remember now. There was a lady with a son, and I'm gonna forget her name. Ah! She's gonna shoot me because she listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she showed me this body, uh -huh. and that's why I met Taylor. And um, yeah, yeah. I, he, he's great. And then and then, so I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to place. I'm, I suck at times. Yeah. Dates, but then from Oregon, and then we did the Hawaii race, and I saw Taylor out there too. Yeah. Gave me one of his hats. Yeah, oh yeah. And I got uh, one of those today. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Taylor Ho T Love TH it. right here. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure the only way to find him is T it's through Facebook. Yeah. TH Designs. TH Designs. Actually, I'm Taylor gonna go Hope. get after you. you. Should. I am gonna get him over here. Yeah. And when you do, you mind going grab oh, him when you leave? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, we'll bring him in here, man. We got a we got a minute. Yeah. We got a, We got oh, a, yeah. We got a lot of drying. To yeah. do let's, let's bring because he's here yeah and uh, then I'll talk about the next two okay here we go man TSG Carbon Works and TSGCarbonWorks.com man this guy is a partner of mine in Badass Bearings we're going to talk about Badass Bearings in just a second Tommy GOV man uh, not only is he a partner of mine he's a friend of mine and uh, man he's I, I, I'm becoming to as him and I work together more and more in this genre you, you should see the things that we're doing I call him the mad scientist yeah. the kid's really good oh yeah He's getting better, man. Yeah. He makes all his own stuff, and it, it, I will tell you this. I, I bet you in less than four months, everything that you buy from TSG is made by him. Oh, yeah. Every bit of it. Yeah. No, that, I admire that, you know. Uh, I wish I had a bigger place to do stuff like that, but it's cool to see him. Man, I seen him posting videos and everything. Pull that his. mic into your to just look to your mouth a little bit more, because that those, those to just yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah. I've seen all the videos of him uh, making producing stuff, and it's like, man, that's that's an awesome you know side gig. He he and he does very well at it. Oh yeah. He, and I, I can't announce what he's got something else coming up. And oh. I, I, he's not ready, and I don't think yeah. he's ready yet. But uh, stay tuned for TSG Carbon Works, not TSG though, Tommy. We're gonna we're gonna get out of TSG, but when Tommy's ready to launch, we'll we'll help oh, yeah. him launch it. Um, here's the deal, man. He's doing seven scale now. Yeah. He's he's doing chassis for seven scale, and his chassis are winning. Oh, they're So if you're looking ass. for seven scale drag racing, man, TSGCarbonWorks.com. Go check it out. Like I said. Hit him up, man. If you have any questions, he'll get to you. Uh, he's just as busy as the rest of us. Oh, yeah. oh man, that sucks that that lane <laughs> got in there. Yeah. You guys did the best you could to yep. keep that off there. Yep. Uh, but anyway, hit him up, man. Uh, TSGCarbonWorks.com. And that'll push us off into BAB, BadassBearings.com. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. I'm only going to tell you this multiple times. We are running the best. We, Giovi and myself, have the best bearings when it comes to any with drag racing. End of story. Yeah. Our fishing bearings launch in less than 30 days, right along with the skateboard. Oh, yeah. We are doing ABEC 9 skateboard, ABEC 7 fishing, and, and yo-yo, and RC. Yeah. And, dude, we have something launching out of badass bearings. It's not for drag. It's going to... Man, I can't oh, wait. Yeah. I can't wait. I've been, I've been stoked to see you guys do that. Uh, they they hit the ground running. They you know? they did. And uh, listen, Brand. we we brought some trophies with us. The best ET, the best mile per hour. Me and Tommy, we, we got some we got some awards for you. Oh yeah. And if anybody wins here today, it's sitting over there in the corner. I brought, I've got a brand new from OGO. Uh, it's a sponsor of mine. Oh yeah. I uh, brought a red and rig 9800 sitting over there. The beautiful. beautiful bag. We should put it up on the tech table. Beautiful bag. I love that thing. <laughs> the red. Yeah. Yes. So anybody wins today with the badass bearings, uh, they'll win that uh, rig 9800. And yep. I will tell you this uh if you're looking for a team for 2025 even if you are, are already on a team i'm telling you right now when you see what we're doing for 2025 we're going to change some games dude yeah you guys are going to really well, enjoy it talking to you and abel i need to get a set for i got one you one of my cars i got you yeah. i brought them with me okay cool and uh yeah so i want to try them out because I got you, brother. i've seen really good things about them uh I've, i'll be honest all my cars have speed secrets yeah. because that's who was doing, you know, the the he's been the go to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But him wits but or, I or see, yeah, one seen, up. Yeah. You could have got him from one yes, up. Yes. Yes. Um, but when I seen you doing your thing, you know, and I see it growing and I see I see the passion and the how much you guys are putting into it. I want to give him a try. I, I think it would be uh Thank you. Yeah. I was going to buy him for just a trans and Abel was like, "We don't offer that, but maybe we should." Yeah. 
Yeah, no, because I, I have a backup. Oh, he, 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 no, no, we got them coming. We're, we're doing just trans bags. Oh, good. They're coming. Because I want to get a full car setup and them. then a spare trans setup. I think we got because them. I have I have a trans that's all brand new, but it's got stock bearings. Gotcha. In it. And so the rest of my car already has you know um, speed secrets, but I, I want to try some. Yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. Bab, bab, Listen, uh, man, I, I, you know I've never really told this story. Everybody's like, why, why are you getting the bearings? And I, I've never really kind of told the story, but we'll make it fast. Yeah. The, I didn't get into the bearings for this. I'm yeah. being honest, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know what's one thing with me? I see so many people talking shit about me, saying that I've seen some. some somebody You've actually called me. I don't time. care no more. But I'm in a I'm in a different zone in my life. Yeah. Somebody said I lied about something. I, mean, I don't lie, steal, or cheat. No. And I'm transparent as a day always, is long. Always. But here's the deal. I got in for fishing. My really? brother, but dude, me and my brother. Oh, he's a he's a pro bass. He, me and my brother yes. are getting ready to take not only badass bearings, yeah. but I started a, I started my own manufacturing, my own yeah. lithium batteries now. Oh. for for golf, oh, RV, yes. and boat. The Volta Power. Volta Power USA. I, com. I pay attention, man. Oh, I love I love what you do because you're always pushing to better something, whether it's drag racing, whether it's fishing, skateboarding, whatever it is, you're always pushing to Thank improve you. it. I mean, look at look at this thing. Look at this thing. You know, thing. this is the, you, you, this was supposed to be up at that race in, the, up in Ohio, but yeah. I, I, I had a, a death in the family. Oh yeah. You are the first to have this. Dude, that's the baddest, that's <laughs> the baddest thing. It's cool, right? I was talking to Wendy about it earlier, cause she's like, you know, what are we gonna do with it? And I'm like, what are you gonna do with it? Sand, baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna have sand TV all over it. That's the bad. back door. Yeah. Wait till you see the back door. Really? It's, it's I'm almost cussed, but Man. it's so bad, dude. I wanna I, I wanna say something. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Because, you know, I I did a live show on my personal page about about a month ago. Yeah. And it was talking about my new company, Volta Power USA and VoltaPowerUSA.com. Yeah. You know, that's one thing that I I'm very very proud of. Yeah. One one thing that I don't do yeah. is I will not sell cheap stuff. Yeah. That's the, that, that, that is, uh, I am not built like that. No. I'm going to give you the best product. And yeah. we're going to talk about my batteries for a second. I know there ain't nobody here watching for bad, but I want to I explain yeah. what, how I do things and how other people do things. When it comes to me, I told Tommy, before you and I even go into partnership, it goes like this. I will not buy cheap stuff. No. I'm not about no. that. I'm about putting the best product on the on the track. I've seen that for four years. Look at look at your live streams. Look at I'll it. I'll just use that as an example. Thank you. Yeah. Your call. live streams are nobody compares. I, well, I'll be honest with you. Be careful when you say that. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> You're gonna get backlash on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's just for I can me give a the, shit, ex bro. the experience that I'm presented with yours. I'm not saying anybody else's can't be good, yeah. but when you've done yours, you go above and beyond. Thank and you. And there's, that's something I've always looked at and was like, you know, he, you're in Utah. You drove all the way up here yeah. to do this for yeah. us, you know? I like, did. Then that means a lot to us because just like Zuck said, you know, without you, there's people in other states that can't watch this. They can't, friends, family, teammates, whatever it is, you know, this, this is huge. It's, yeah. it's hard to see what you've caught in flack for doing, in my opinion, a good job with this shit. It's, excuse yeah. my language. Uh, I, no, I'm you're good, to, dude. You're good. It's fr I get frustrated oh, I'm because frustrated, of what, man. what you've went through. I, I lost it all. And I, I lost I everything. Yeah. It's gone. And I don't, I don't hear all the backstories. It's but it's, it's frustrating to see somebody that puts so much effort into his his passions. You know, look at the equipment. I've yeah. never even seen this kind of crap before. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all new. This. Every In bit of this is new. For RC. Yeah. But look at that trailer. Oh, uh, bro, I love that it. That thing man. is bad. That thing is bad. You know, but, but here's the deal. I, I want to go back to my st my batteries, but I'm going to type out that trailer. We're actually going to use it for Volta. Yeah. We're using it for the battery. Got my, my, my So my, my main battery yeah. company, we're using it for that. Because, see, I used to own an ice cream truck. Yeah. Let me tell you how much I, I, I do for people. Yeah. I, when I first started my battery company, I bought an ice cream truck. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you, you buy an ice cream truck? <laughs> because I deal with, with, with retired people. Yeah. So my, my mentality was this. If I'm going to come out to your park, you invite me to your park. I wanted to give back. Yeah. You should see my ice cream truck I had. It was bad, dude. Oh, I'm sure I had it was. a speaker on every corner, and I would give away free ice cream. So if you walked up to my truck, yeah. in, in, but you had to been in that park, you know, I didn't come to places like this. Yeah. But if you walked up to my truck, yeah. I gave you an ice cream and a koozie. 
That's ridiculous. Yeah, no. and that, that's how I built my business there. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you have to spend money to make money. Yes. In 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 one thing with us, whether it comes to badass bearings, Volta power, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You have to spend money to make money. Yes. And. I get so frustrated, I'm gonna go back to why I started my own battery company. Because the other battery companies are doing what the other companies, they're out for the buck. Yes. They're in it for the money. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Or am I? You need to make money, but. But, 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 but Adam, but the difference in me and them is this. Yeah. They have been putting out the, the, the crappiest product, but see, it, it's taken a toll on me. Yeah. Because see, when my customer buys my my battery, yeah. it's like buying a wing from you. Yeah. They entrust in you oh, yes. because to put out the best, well, when if something happens and, you're, and, you're, um, and your warranty, <laughs> your, your battery company don't stick behind what they say, yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I got to figure something out. Yeah. Well, brother, I figured it out. Really? I am not only putting the best battery on the market when yeah. it comes to golf, just talk about golf. Yeah. I'm not putting, I am not only putting the best battery in the market for golf. Yeah. Wait till you see, you won't understand it. But when the other companies see what I did to my battery, I'm the only company that has a certain weight. You can hit a button in your app and it does a certain charge. Oh, Nobody wow. else has wow. that. Wow. That's Now awesome. that's going to push me off into the, to the badass bearings yeah. and Volta. Oh, yeah. We are doing eight full-blown fishing tournaments next year. Wow. We, we're, we're getting ready to sponsor three top-tier bass guys. That's huge. Yeah, man. That's huge. Where I'm going with this bearings is I got, the- in, I got in this for the fishing. Yes. But when Tommy and I did this together, yeah. it... it I didn't, I didn't, I'll be honest with you, Ben, I knew I was going to take a lot of crap for doing this. It is what it is. Yeah. There's no changing. I can tell you this, in my life and where I'm at, I don't care no more. Yeah. I'm going to continue to give everybody yeah. the best Push. because eventually people will see that I am putting the best out there. Oh, yeah. When you, you compare my product, whether it's bearings, batteries, whatever it is, yeah. I'm putting the best on the track or in your cart, in your boat, or in your yeah. RV. Well, End of story. Look at your lives, man. That's all I'll <laughs> say. You know, there. <laughs> you don't get this, you know. Uh, it, it's an amazing experience that you do for, uh, for racing. We're very busy. <laughs> it's probably in the trailer or in Mikhail's Jeep. Donut boy. <laughs> Donut boy. Local. Let's go. Yeah. Talk about a Painter. He's, yeah. He's an amazing painter. What happened with him? I, I, did he, did, I know he pulled out. I, I mean, he, did, did he get tired of it? No. Um, basically, it was the cost. What's his real name? Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Simpson. I know that. I yeah. Just, the, yeah. The, the people back home. So Patrick. What's his last Patrick name? Patrick Simpson. Simpson. Yep. It goes by Donut boy. Donut boy. He was hot and heavy, man. Yeah. Um, it was because like he put so much time into his bodies that... It takes a lot of time and effort and paint, and you know, it adds a lot of hours to do all these intricate designs. Right. And he didn't feel comfortable charging people two hundred dollars for a paint job. Um, there was people that are always willing to pay that. You know, uh, most people don't understand the time it takes to paint one of these bodies. I'll spend a whole day, and my my designs are nowhere near his. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done some stripe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've done some really good paint jobs. But a lot of the time, I don't have the time to do that, you know? So I'll paint one good body once every, like, six months to a year, and the rest are just one color, slap it on. I'm too impatient, man. I I just, I can't. Um, I'm with you. But he's an amazing painter. Uh, And basically, he he got known from crawlers. So that's where he started. Oh, okay. Yeah, was crawlers. So he, he can paint a crawler body because they're much smaller, faster and then he doesn't have to charge so much so it's because the the drag bodies you know they're freaking two feet long yeah yeah yeah. so it takes a lot more time to paint that than a crawler cap makes sense uh so and he didn't like that he me and him had talked and he's like ah just i hate charging people you know so much i see bodies going for 250 for you know the body supplied the paint i know dude 250 and that's about the going rate but he didn't like having to charge that much so he 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 stepped away he said he will you know do uh bodies we've got one today to raffle off oh he did cool yeah yeah we've got one from taylor and one from donut boy sweet so is he he still doing crawlers yeah okay yeah he does drift cars now too Ah. and those are much smaller but yeah to me being a painter it's harder to paint something smaller in my opinion yeah because you can't get in there yeah Yeah. yeah, yeah, i'm used to being able to stick my whole head in there and you know uh but they have their techniques. 
I couldn't paint a. <laughs> if you gave me a rattle can, what was that guy's name? Greg, uh, gosh, oh, they called him Rattle Can. Uh, oh my God, he's out of Texas. Help yeah. me out, Greg, out of Texas. They called it that. That would be me, Rattle Can. Dude, oh yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and, no. I, I, and it would run and look like crap. Yeah. No, our flyer uh, body is what I painted. Okay. It's the purple and gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White one. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I can. Paint fairly good. Donut Boys gave me a lot of uh, tips. Uh, tips and things. So, uh, yeah, I can paint, but I just do it for myself. Yeah. I have a lot of people like, hey, you should paint this for me. And I'm like, nah, I don't got time between yeah, yeah, yeah. Work, work and wings and family. I, I just don't have the time to do it. A to Z traction. Mm. Ah. Oh, yeah. wait, 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 back up. Oh. Donut Boy. If you, uh, so he's not painting drag guys, but if you, if you are crawlers, you're looking to get your paint, your crawler paint a man, find him on Facebook. Donut Boy RC. Can't miss it, man. He's yep. got. It's like a. Looks like a. It's like a. Looks like a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love his I, logo. I was talking to him one time. I said, "Dude, did you take any crap from Dunkin'?" <laughs> He's had some wild. Actually, logos. you know what? After you talk about A to Z, yeah. I'm gonna go grab Frank too. Yeah. He's here. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Do you talk about it? A yeah. to Z. He's go. Frank Greer. He's Frank traction Greer. god. Yeah. He's an amazing guy. Um, I haven't personally used his because I got on uh, uh, live action. Live action. You know, but. I know a lot of people that do, and, you know, some people will swear his is the best conditioner out there, you know. Uh, I've never experienced it, but I've seen people have great success with it. Yeah. But Frank himself, he's an amazing guy. Yeah, he's he is awesome, really, man. like, the first time we met him, we were like, oh, you know, is he going to... He's gonna be rude, you know, yeah, whatever. No, but man. He's, he's one of the nicest people I've ever Big old met. Big teddy bear, yeah, man. Yeah. He is. You know what? I was gonna tell. I was, I, I'll tell him on the air. I'll tell him when we're when we're sitting here talking. But I was gonna say something to Frank about his beard or. But I'll, I'll tell him <laughs> on the air. Let's talk about you, bro. Okay. Downforce Designs yeah. um, website. Nope. Just okay. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Talk. What got you into what 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 made you what made Adam Webb? Well, you know what, man? I want to do those wings. So we were. This was early on. We were starting to do our uh, our drag racing club back when COVID was around. Hey, Bob. I seen uh, Daniel Judd post a video Daniel on how Judd. to make, I haven't heard that name yeah, in a minute. How to make a wing out of Lexan. He really? had a whole video on you it. You know, he was really good at that. He Did, was. Does he still do that? No. He, Damn, He's dude. got a car, but he's selling it now. I just seen. Really? Uh, yeah, That's one thing Daniel was really... I didn't mean to get off track, yeah, no, but no. Daniel Judd was... When it come to getting... When he did his shows yeah. and stuff, man, he he's so knowledgeable, yes. man. Yeah. No. So, so he, he showed he you on his show. video out. What's the guy's name? He used to sit with him. Oh. Wow. You remember his name? Who, who, who used to sit Ricky? with him? Ricky? No, Bellotti. no, no. The other... No, no, the, the, the older guy. Oh. T towards the end. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, I, I, I want to call him Ned. <laughs> like Bubba the Love Sponge, he had Ned. <laughs> Dude, that guy was like Ned. <laughs> yeah. No, um, so I watched a video. I, w I had these brand new bodies. I've been hand-making wings since I first started. So I bought a body. I ran the stock wing, bought another body, and all of a sudden I see this video of Daniel Judd explaining how to do it, how to put bends in it. And I was like, oh, I could do that. No I way. I do HVAC, so I have all the tools that need you, to do it. You got it all. Yeah. So I went and started doing them. And, of course, the first ones I made were ugly. But, <laughs> you know, back then you're like, that's badass. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it, it's kind of like us. The first live streaming equipment all, we yeah. got, we're like, ah, oh, dang, because it took up all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I started making them by hand. And I never intended to sell them. And then I made a wing, and my friend wanted one, and then their friends wanted one, and their friends wanted one. And it just kind of got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm sick of making them by hand. I'm going to buy a machine. So I bought a machine, and I got a super cheap locally, uh, really great machine. And, um, yeah, that's I love that machine because it, it's helped me make all my wings, obviously, but then all the carbon parts that I've made, I make the first copy at my house on my own machine hand cut it, you know, slap it together, and if it works, then I have, I send it out to be manufactured. So uh, that, that CNC machine was, uh, uh, that's something I've always wanted since back in the day before cool. I did RC drag racing. I was intrigued by a machine that you could, you know, I've made, you should see the clock I made. It's a big, giant 18-inch one. No and it kidding. says, it's got a drag tree on it, and it says drag racing. I love that shit. Really? Yeah, that's <laughs> bad. It, nice, dude. It's, so, so Daniel kind of helped you kind of get yeah. into the wing thing. Yeah. So, so now, now, so now, what? Now, when was that? That was early on, probably 2020. 
Really? Yeah. Okay, early so on. it's been a minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you so so Daniel Judd, man, hey, I can do that yeah. Now Here you go. You're moving in the wings. Yep. First wing comes out, you're like, ah. Yeah. But you kept grinding. It was only for myself. I, I just did it for myself. Oh. And then that was it. And then I had a buddy say, Hey, can you make me one? Ah, sure, I'll make one. Did one. Then his friend wanted one. Then their friends wanted one. And it was like, okay, I guess I'm making multiple. Downforce Designs yeah. begins. Yeah. I like the name, yeah. too. Thank it's you. good. Yeah. yeah. Downf- no, it was just. It's, it's, it's straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. The first name that I, I thought up was like Aerotech or something no. like that. And I was like, eh. You know, Supa, I told Supa, and he's like, I don't know. I don't know. And I was like, <laughs> you know, you're right. I don't like that. Aerotech, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Downforce Design, because that's the. the that is the intention of the it, you know? The intention of the wing exactly. is the downforce. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. So now, so so we, we, we talked about Shark. We talked about Race RC. Yeah. So do, are you doing wings for everybody? Yeah. For yeah. All, all, everybody all the bodies? I, can, I mostly focus on outlaw bodies. So there's some that I don't make wings for, for like the some of the realistic scale ones because they're so small, they look funny. You know, you look at these cars and they're big drag wings on the back. To some people, that looks funny. That's normal to me. When I see these little stock wings or like the the scale looking ones, it it looks funny to me. So yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I don't even I don't make those. But if somebody requests one and I can get the body, I make them. You do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so but so go. Let's talk about shark first. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite? Like, so if if if, if somebody uh, calls you up and says, "Hey, Adam, I want a wing," yeah. and he says, "I have a shark body," and you're going, "I hope it's this body." Which Black one is Widow. it? Black Widow. Yeah, okay. I love the wing that I designed for that. The freak show. Is can you have somebody bring it over so we can show it off? Yeah. Christina. KDP. Can, can you grab my body? Hey, Frank. Can you grab well, my body? Al- almost there. I didn't know he was going to get you that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Service with a smile. Yeah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Frank. I got, hey, guys, I got Frank Greer coming up from A to Z, and then I'm going to grab Taylor Holcomb. We still got a lot of drying to oh, do. Yeah. Yep. Okay, go. Yep. Uh, so the Black Widow. Yep. Oh, we're going to grab it. Here it comes. Yep. KDP went and grabbed it. All right, it here we us. go, guys. Yeah, I love this wing. It was just simple. Most of our wings for this body all look very similar. Nice. You're welcome. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Talk about it, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's just a just a wide wing <clears throat> uh, option for it. Um, you can cut out the back because, like I was saying, this is an optional body for real street. So you can keep the bumper. This wing still fits without cutting the bumper so this wing is street or real street legal okay okay so uh, yeah so, okay so hold on so let me make sure i understand this so on the so then you have the bumper that's down here yep right so let's show everybody at the back here so what he's basically what he's saying is this wing is going to work for two for uh real street yep. and outlaw yeah because you can leave the the whole back end of the car in and still mount it up there yeah yeah no it turned out good it's real you know slick it's got the the wide body where it comes straight off. That's like one of my things. I like that, man. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. I so always, the, so I, I know nothing about a wing. Yeah. I know zero. I'm being honest, dude. Yeah. So when when, when you design a wing uh-huh. and you're and you're and you want your obviously the the, the game the, the game here is is downforce. Yeah. What do you do? You know, when you when you make this bend, yeah. do, do you do you do different bends to see what it does, or, or yeah, are you it'll, just it'll add more drag to it if you have it too aggressive? Okay, and you know, somebody that buys this wing, if they want more, they can bend it with something and get it more or less. So I'll, I'll put just kind of a mediocre bend gotcha. into it. Okay, um, just. You know, there's no real rhyme or reason for it. It just it looks good and it helps deflect some of the the air off of you know the back and give it a little bit more force on it. So if a racer wanted to, he could he could bring it up more oh, or yeah. just flatten it all the yeah. way out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just they're real basic. I mean, aerodynamics is aerodynamics. I think it's more important for. I'll be honest with you. You could take somebody like Frank Greer. He could he could slap a cardboard wing on his car and he's gonna go the same <laughs> speed. You know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's like... I get it. We don't go, you know, I'll be... Well, I'll speak for myself. They're not in the wind tunnel? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like we don't... Most of us don't got a wind tunnel There you to, go, dude. to try. You know, I would love to. I've thought about it. That'd but be cool. They would... To it, see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To, to see, see the wind tunnel. Yeah. Oh, man, that yeah. would be cool. Just, you know, add, Because I never knew... Yeah, I never knew what, what you guys did to figure out to get it to do it to, to do its yeah. job. Well, and some people... So I run these center winglets. Uh, it's more of just a looks thing. Yeah. But some people like that because I do this cutout in yeah, the back. Yeah, that's good. And a lot of people, so most of the fast guys, they won't run these because they want the wing to flex on the top end. So they want it to bend down so it's just releasing the air gotcha. easier. Um, for me, I like my wings to be nice and stiff on the top end. 
but you got some like a lot of my team drivers they want flex there okay so that's that's most of the reason i do that notch it started as like a signature thing where when i did my wings every wing will have that in there yeah yeah it yeah just yeah it's your, it's your i'm from the import world i drive a wrx and yeah if you see their stock wing they have that little notch in the wing yeah so i started doing that because it, it was on my and, car and you probably oh, oh it comes it comes on the car like that yeah oh yeah it's just, not it's not an add-on no Gotcha. Yeah, so my, my stock car's little teeny spoiler, it had, it had the little notch. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I, yeah. I see a lot of imports with it. So I figured when I do wings, I'll just do every one of them with That's it. Cool. So any wing that I produce has that in there. You can always tell mine from the others because it will always. And some of them do, you know, the other guys do this uh, on a few of them. Yeah. I just, I do it on every one of them. When you buy a wing from Adam Webb and Downforce Designs, what does it come with? Uh, it comes with everything. It comes with uh, the side plates, the winglets, if it was designed for those, the top plate, all the hardware. I send uh, nylon screws and nuts. All black? And, uh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. If somebody wanted chrome, do you have chrome or no? No. No. I, so I got away from, I'll be honest, I have a still nut right there, a screw right there yeah. because I wrecked earlier and I lost, I broke one. That's kind of the beauty behind the nylon is that it's it's weaker than steel. It, it weighs a lot less. That's the main purpose. Gotcha. But if you wreck, instead of destroying my body and my wing, it just broke that little nut. Perfect. So, okay. Yeah. Then I slapped a regular one in because I didn't bring any extra. You're ready to go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll come with the top plate, the spill plates, uh, the winglets, and then a set of stickers. So, mm. and I have multiple... This is just an all white, but I have a uh, white with the different whole, colors. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And Good. so I'm every time somebody orders a wing from me, they get that, and then oh, I don't have another one. It's a set where it'll be a little DFD sticker. Yeah. Um. So you'll get two of those, and then two of the like inch long by inch tall uh, DFD logos. Okay. Uh, sent with it. Nice. Yeah. What's your second favorite wing to do? Probably the Protoform C7. Okay, the old school. Yes, because oh, I've gee. redesigned that. Like sometimes, just like my first wings, I made I made my first wings and was like, oh, that's badass. And then I go back and I'm like, God damn, that's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done that, that with my like C7. What was I doing? Was I yeah, drinking that exactly. night? Exactly. <laughs> so on my C7, I've done that multiple times where I did something and I was like, I like that. And then some time passed and I'm like, I hate that. Yeah. I, I want to change that. Change it. Yeah. So, you know, they're always getting improvements if i see something i'm like ah, i don't really care because sometimes you make something you're like oh it looks so good and then give it some time and you're like I, yeah i don't like that so you go back and redesign it you know uh i'm on my third version of that and i, I really like <laughs> that like me now <laughs> dude i'm already on my v3 i'm calling my v3 golf battery i've already i designed oh my, my first one i already did, yeah dude I, my my third but i'm like you so I, I get it yes i get dude i totally just got it it yeah. just clicked because i did my v1 drop in lithium pack i'm like mm. yeah i did my v2 i'm like okay we're getting better yeah then i redesigned everything yep got a hold of my manufacturer i said no 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 make it smaller make it more boxy yeah and bro it's sick. But that's the thing. I can't wait. You know, always pushing to, because for me, I'm the same way. I don't want to put out a product that doesn't, mm, that no. I don't, that I'm not proud of, you yep. know? For me, I want my wings to to fit properly and not have all these, you know, gaps or anything like that. So yep. I, I make sure I, I make sure that they fit as best as I can possibly make them. So I'm going to play dumb. I'm yep. going to play a, a new person coming into drag racing. Yeah. And I call Adam Webb from Downforce Designs. Yeah. Adam, I'm, I want the C7 wing. Do I get instructions? Uh, no, but they can always <laughs> message me. So this Can I one, ask you why? I'm it would just be curious. really hard to um, write up an explanation. So what Do me, a video. Yeah. What we do is take pictures. So if somebody buys one and I can tell they're kind of newish, and I even get very experienced people most of the time we'll measure like from the back window to there yeah. and then we know that that is in the ballpark of where it's supposed to go okay so this one is easy because you have those cutouts and oh then, yeah yeah right here yeah 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 yeah, so yeah you just push it on until it stops yeah he's talking about right here these cutouts that come right here yeah okay and yep. then there's other things like where oops sorry where this ends i want it flat with I'm the bleeding body. you got insurance oh man <laughs> i do <laughs> <laughs> just kidding dude. so i want this top plate to end where the body nice. drops down yeah. so that everything fits, you know, as it should. So it doesn't look all off and yeah. goofy, you know. Some of these are rounded, so you'll get, like, that right there. But outside of that, the okay. fitment's good. 
So somebody new coming in say, hey, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Man. Can you help me out? Oh, yeah, Sweet. absolutely. And all of us, I've seen other manufacturers and myself, We mo- most of us just take pictures when we design it with a tape measure going from there to there. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, take, I've, I've uh, on my C7, you have to cut the whole back of the body out for it to fit. And so I took, uh, I cut it out, mounted the wing, took it off, and then I took pictures of it nice. so that I can send it to anybody that has questions. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, I love it, dude. Awesome. You know, I wish I would have done, I wish I would have done this years ago yeah. with guys Yeah. because we can sit here and put your logo up all day. Oh yeah. But if you don't have this, yeah. what do you have? Yeah. You, well, what do you truly some have? Some people might know Downforce. They might not know me. Right. You know? Right. And that, that's the thing. And that's when I, st- when I, told, I told Wendy, I said, yeah, I, I'm doing something different here, man. Yeah. I, I want people, if, if there is a sponsor here, I want them here. Yeah. So people can, because it's like anything, man. You, you, you know, you could go on anywhere. You could buy something. But if, knowing the guy that, that does it and yeah. has the passion and he's like that, right? And he's racing with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he feels the trials and uh-huh. tribulations. Oh, yeah. That's who I want on my team. Exactly. You know what I'm no. saying? Uh, yeah. I wish I would have done this a long time ago, yeah. man, no. and, and really sat down. You know, back when I was talking to the other wing, I don't talk to no more wing guys. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Um, but uh, it would have been really good for people to really, truly understand and what yeah. you do and how oh, yeah. you do it. Yeah. And, dude, I love it. Because I, I, now that you, how you've showed me and done with me, yeah. I think I'm out by a wing. Oh, yeah. It's good. Can I track question real quick? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm finishing up with him yep. right now. Yep. For what? Oh, sure. Cover what rain? Sure. Is it coming again? Yeah. Oh boy. Is it? All right. Listen, I'm gonna finish finish yeah. with you. Yeah. You help the girls. Okay. They, they do. They're hovering uh, over here, yeah. <laughs> brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. No, thank you for not only this, but for everything you've done. Yeah. You of know? course. And like I said, I want I want to set it. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got, you know what? On the house. You sure? Hell I, yeah, I'll, dude. I, like I know the, the owner. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's a pretty good guy. He, not the, that's not what I heard. Hey, that's what I heard. Oh, you man. people that hear things should really try calling people. Exactly. Brother. No, thank thank you. you. Brother, I love it. it. Love it. Man. Frank Greer's coming next, yes, man. Yes. Let's bring a brother. Would you, do you mind yelling in for, yeah, for me? Yeah, I'll go grab him. Because awesome. Abel thank over you. there, is, uh, it looks like he's over there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, and hey, and tee up Taylor. And tee up Taylor for me. Okay, cool. All right, guys, that's cool. See, hey, how cool was that, man? To hear, to hear that from uh, from Adam, man. That, that 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 makes things really good. I'm gonna move these over. I got Mister. I got the man, the myth, the legend, coming in hot. What's up, Mark Vine? Ah, <laughs> just kidding. His long lost brother. <laughs> Frank Greer, man. You know the first thing you and I are gonna talk about is that beard. Thank you. We're going to talk about that beard. Let me get you all down in here. Cool. I'm going to set you up like this, right there. Cool. Like like a, like a uh, Fafa Fui from uh, the Howard Stern show. Okay. okay. You, ever, you ever listen to Howard Stern? Uh-huh. No, you, no. Have you ever? I, I have. But back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I can't then. anymore. He sucks. Really? No, dude. He's too, he's gotten too. Political? Maybe? Something is up with the dude. And, and I, I don't, I can't say, but there's yeah, some yeah, things yeah. that he does now. I'm like, dude. Look, man, you, you started your, you started doing your thing. You did, but, but calm, calm it down a little bit. Yeah, anyway, um, how are you, bro? Good, good. good. How are you? Oh man, I'm good. Thanks man. for thanks for coming out. Yeah, dude, I'm having a good time. We got a parking garage going. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna warm well, up. Well, no, we got another rain. Or, I know another set okay. of rain. I don't think in. they see it, but it's like probably twenty minutes away. <sighs> Good. Great. Yeah. Well, that's good. It gives me and you time to talk about. Um, so if you guys don't know Frank Greer, then you're under a rock and you just don't live. <laughs> End of story. Because if you do not know Frank, then you, I'm, I'm not kidding. How long have you been doing this? I'm t- let's uh, talk about just drag racing for right now. Um, since it started, uh, or maybe a couple years before it started. like man. 20 or 19? Uh, Remember? Before that, yeah. Really? Before yeah. that? We were doing it at, like... In Tucson, you were in Tucson, yeah, in the parking lot. The guys yeah, yeah. and I do. Do you know I remember? Do you, you remember? There, yeah, I came did, yeah. down to that. Yeah. You were at the mall. Yeah, dude, I forgot about I have, that. We had that video still somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about the Tucson mall, yeah. man. Yeah. That's completely we crazy. Like, Damn, Billy's coming down. We it was like 10, 10 guys, I, like, 12, dude, I did, fifteen guys. I, was I don't even remember. Dude, having fun. I just uh, knowing people, but um. So you so so you live in Tucson. Yep. So back in let's say nine, maybe nineteen. Yeah. So 19. you started. What the hell were you? I mean, what 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 sucked you into this? What was it? Phoenix. Uh, they were they had a group out there uh, that would run once a month. And uh, you I talk about the Koi Koi. Uh, Koi. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Koi. Duh. Yep. I was gonna say the four eight zero, but Koi. No, Koi. Yeah. Koi Roberts. Which, if you don't know Koi Roberts, you're also under a rock. Hold on. He is the guy that runs the King of Streets for Tyler Zavadil. 
Yeah, I got a big 10 by 20 in there, but I, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm busy, guys. Hey, well, yeah, there's a 10 by 20 in there. Set it up. Hey, but hey. The win, hey. PTW. Wendy. The wind, though. Sorry, man. Here we go. I'm going to put her on a leash. <laughs> So 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 go back so so you you get sucked in now Koi's having races yep, and yep. you 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 venture in up there yeah we were there once a month just uh you know. but but I want to know your first time coming to Koi's who was there Mark Vine uh, there was a guy named James James Gallatin Gallatin yep, yep. they were uh, the fast guys and uh, who else was out there? who else was there. I love this, dude. I love stuff like this. God, just, just because I'm picturing you driving in. You knew nobody. Nobody. You had no idea. Nope. Right there, you meet them. Tell us about that day, that first day. Well, I mean, uh, the Koi's track used to be amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Until they used, freaking resurfaced yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so we were we were used to running on a real crappy road, and we went out there. We're like, God, we're, our cars are working really. <laughs> yeah, good yeah, now. yeah. And they probably went, Who's this yeah, guy? Exactly, yeah. They're like, Wait a minute. So I mean, we went out there. And we gave them, we gave them hell, and uh, the first race. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. We did pretty good, and we're we're hooked. After that, we're like, okay, we got to come back and beat them. Yeah, yeah, we got to go. We're yep. going back down to Tucson. We're yep. gonna get. Yep. The, so let me ask you this though: Did you um, did you guys spank their ass? So let let's, let's move forward. Pro, let's progress yeah, slowly. As you go home, yep. and you start doing your thing, then you come back. And yeah, I I believe uh, maybe it took like two or three races. Okay. And we went That's out it? there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not very many. No, it ain't. I thought you say two or three years. No, I mean, <laughs> it, the the road, like I said, the road we practiced on was trash. Yeah. And we we had our cars moving on the bad road. Yeah. So we went out there, and, and you're moving more. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And this is no tire prep. This is dry that's tire. Dry. It was pretty much dry tire. What, yeah. What, what what was your fastest time back then? Do you remember? Mm. You ever? It was in the twos. Well. I think Mark cracked into the into the one nines, and then we're like, okay, we need a on Koi's on Koi's yeah, road. Koi's. Okay, okay. And that was like the big milestone. Oh, what? Yeah, one nines. What? I don't think I was quite hanging doing this yet. I don't think. No, yeah. no I wasn't. Uh -huh. huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so but, one nines. Mark goes in, and then yep. Frank's going. Oh hell no! Yeah, well, I, well, what eight's next? <laughs> and then, uh, here we are. Uh, Crazy. Trying to do one threes, one fours. Wild. Yeah. It's been a hell of a. It's been. Are you going to continue this? Are you going to oh, yeah. continue the journey? Yeah. How long do you think you'll do it? I mean, I'll do it until I get tired of it. Tired of it, yeah. Because yeah. for you to drive back, let's go back then, because it was an hour and a half drive up? Uh, two hours. Two? Yeah. Where do you live in Tucson? Um, I know. It's about 30 minutes off the freeway. Gotcha. So you got to kind of come out uh, yeah. and then up yep. and stuff. So, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I, it, 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 now, have you talked to Koi? I have not. I uh, neither. I talked to him, man. I, I, we, we, we miss Coy, man. He, he always used to do a good race. Yeah, he did a nice point yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did good for the sport to to uh, get it going. But so, we don't have no racing now in Phoenix. You know what I mean? Nowhere. It's over. I, yeah. There's. I ain't seen nothing. Nothing. So now we got eight. Uh, so so now Coy. Now now you're ready. You're ready for the big show. Yeah. Now what I mean by the big show is is when did Frank Greer decide? You know what? I'm gonna I'm going to one of the big ones. Well, we me and Mark teamed up first. Ah, yeah. that's yeah. that's good. Team that's, AZ. Yep. Let's go so back. We, we, Sorry. We teamed up and uh, how long after from you traveling to Tucson into Phoenix did you till you guys kind of. He saw I you doing one eight within about a year. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I need I need this guy's power, and he needs my traction. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. About, about about a year. Yeah, really about yeah. a year. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Maybe last. Okay. So now you guys team up. Yep. Then and then Taylor and Man Mansky too. Brian. Mansky. Oh, that's right. That's and when we went out to uh, Super Chips. What was your first? Your, no, no. You went to King of Did you King of the Streets? Yeah. Was your first yep. big major yep. like I'm going? Yeah. Let's go win that big money. Yep. Okay. Since so Super Chips would have been the second. Second. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here comes that rain, Abel. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting rain again, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look they park all the car. We're trying to keep the, tra the track. That's not going to help, by the way. The, the water's going to still sit. Yeah. Okay. So, now you go to your first big race, King of Streets. How did you do? Uh, do you remember? I, you know, I, I can't really remember. I remember one where I pulled, I pulled the trigger and I really. Oh, you did? Yeah. At the King of Streets? Yeah. Now, back then. I don't remember. Were they double entering? No, it was, it was one, one entry. One, oh, one entry. no. I had a great car that year. You did? The second or third year. I had to have been the second. Because second, that was when Jay Conway was racing. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, he yeah, went really right. far. Yeah, that's right. Remember? Because yep, yeah, yep. every time Jay, we, we had a little thing with Jay. Every yeah. time he'd come to the line, we'd all yeah, do, the, yeah. do the wave. And Jay was like a major underdog at the time. And he yes, was, he like, was. Just going around. Yeah, he did. It. He yeah. got pretty far. Jay did. This is crazy. 
I, yeah. I, 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 Frank, I've been watching this weather for two weeks. I didn't even I, look. Brother, I, I, I stare at If I yeah. know I'm coming to a race, yeah. I stare at this weather. I, I looked on, on, on weather maps and there was nothing. Nothing. And all my shit's getting ruined, bro. Oh, my gosh. Ah, just kind of tuck it under there, man. Ah. Okay, so you you go you go to King of Streets, and now then the next big one's Super Chips, and that's when you, Vine, Mansky, and that was my first time at Super Chips. I remember that. Yep, yep. And then you guys go and and and, and just dominated. Domin yeah, we did dominate. You guys that killed year. it there. Uh, Brian came out of there. Do you, do you remember what kind of time he ran? What, what were we running back then? Do you remember? Gosh, I can't remember. Seven, maybe one, six, is eight, six, maybe. maybe I don't yeah, remember. Probably sevens, I would sevens, say. eights. Yeah. In the second Super Chips. I would say eight, probably. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I remember it was two or three o'clock in the morning. Remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Mansky yeah. wins. Yep. All nighter. It was wild. Do you, do you, you know what's crazy? And I'm going to kind of get off track, but I remember going to these races so early on. It was so out of control. Yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. The, the we were getting done program. at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Craziness. And I'm going, <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. No. There's a thing with me. When the sun goes down, it's yeah. time to sleep. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to wrap it up. <laughs> we'll wrap it up, and then uh, and then what 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 did you end up doing at the second king uh, second or the second super chips? Would you, uh, do you remember? Yeah, we went one, one two three. That's when we. Uh, you did do one two yeah. three. Da, see, I should have we known that. Within, uh, I should have known that. So damn it. We were all within one one thousandth. Really? Of uh, each other. That's on wild. Our times. So it was Mansky, you then Vine. Uh, mine second. I was third. And the third. Yep. And then, uh, do you remember who came fourth? I don't. No, you don't remember. No. Uh, that's right. You guys did a one, two, three, because you got a big old thing with yeah. duct tape around yeah. it. Y'all yeah. yeah. kind of. And that's one thing about these guys, you know, back in the day, and he probably even still today with yeah, Team Maisie. Still. These guys win if, if you're if you're in, in the, in, at yeah. the race. Yep. But you have to be at the race, though. Yeah, yeah. You don't split with. No. So if I'm at home and I'm a TAZ and I'm hit kickback watching the race, you don't split no. with me, right? <laughs> but, I mean, they, they, we take them out steak dinner, yeah. take them for a Sunday or no, something. No, you get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you either get here you get nothing <laughs> they literally split the pot yeah, or, uh, or, or we do 50 50 you guys have always done that yeah, huh? 50 50 do you do you hear that in in different like different teams I don't, no no, no. I, i've i've always heard it with you guys yeah. though i've always you know what they split they split yeah. the pot so now we, we we we've gone to the king of streets and we shoot off the super chips what was your third big race do you remember what would that have been i'm just curious man i like breaking this down there because we, we we're, we're socked in <laughs> it, this is crazy it would have to it's be yeah, this is a holding pattern for sure. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. Fit I, I can't remember that year because we did uh, King of Streets, Super Chips. The first year I kind of started running around after Super Chips. You remember where we went? I'm trying to think, was it uh, Scotty's? Scotty's? I didn't do that. I never did go to that one. No. No big deal, dude. I, I like to know, man, because I've known you for like three and a half years. I, I like to know where you came from, yep. how you, how, in, 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 in just kind of where you got, and that's going to bring us up to A to Z. Yeah. When did you, when, when does Frank Greer say, you know what, man, I'm going to start doing my own traction stuff? Um, well, when we started, we were running uh, reactions. Yep. The reaction yep. tires, and those tires were horrible. Horrible, huh? Yeah. So I was like, I need to figure something not to make them work. So you went to work. Yep. Got A to Z. Yep. And, it, and it's, it's kind of... Yeah, from there, it kind of just it's progressed little, yeah. little by little. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is it going good? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going... It's, it's, it's all right. I mean, uh, some people use it. Some some of them have left the team. Yeah. But, you know, it changes with times. Times change. Times change. Yeah. Big time. Hey, Abel, what was the name of that uh, of that beard stuff that, uh, on the back of that truck? Oh, it was... Hey, <laughs> I thought of you yesterday. <laughs> Listen to this. Um... Th 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 things do change, you know, when time change. Life happens yep, and, and yep. things go on. I just roll with the punches. Stashies Salt. Stashies Salt. Oh, you need to show that to him. Have you ever heard of no. that? So we're going, we see this, so we're driving down the freeway yesterday. Let me get everybody up to speed. And and we see this trailer and it says StashiesSalt.com. The first thing that came to our minds Chris. was Christopher. Yeah. We're like, what the, does Christopher, did he get a motorhome? <laughs> what is going on? We pull up the side of this thing, you doing 90, him. by the way, and it's Stashie.com, and the whole truck on the side I go Abel what is Stashy he went on and it's 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 uh beard bomb yeah man it's beard bomb I'll have to check it out have you ever used beard bomb I use uh something that I get from Walmart yeah yeah, yeah nothing yeah. crazy Stashies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stashies guys get so stashies. you go so A to Z comes out and then you, now, now how many guys you got on your team um I got quite a few guys on the team too, too many to like probably like 20 plus or something can't name them all can yeah, you yeah no okay <laughs> I can't either by the way so, yeah <laughs> 
it's, it's a lot, dude. So I come and it. go, but come and go. Yeah, it is what it is. Times change. Yeah. In in uh, so. No, no thoughts of quitting. No. You just can continue to yeah. do your thing. Um, any more big races this year? What do you got coming up this year? Um, so New Mexico. Yep. You, uh, so you going to Carlsbad? Yep. Uh, Vegas, and then Tucson race. Tucson. Yep. So you got three, and then holidays will hit in, and then Frank's done. Yep. 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 You know the beauty about Arizona, man. You guys can test all the time. Oh yeah, those guys. That's a, that's a downfall. That that's where you guys have the advantage from the, the ones of yeah. the back east, man. When that that winter sets it's in, they're they're done. For they're a done. Months. You know they're 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 like bears, dude. Yeah. They got to hibernate and they, they watch you guys getting. Yeah. You know they watch you guys it's, it's, getting it's, it's, faster yeah. and faster like, and testing. Yeah. Dig. <laughs> back in the day, I remember inviting. I think it was like two or three years ago. I maybe two years ago. <clears throat> I was talking to Ulbrich, and he's like, damn, I need some testing or yeah. something. I said, dude, come down here. Come on out, yeah. dude. You got my house, my room, yep. you do whatever you want, dude. You can test all day and all night. All day, all night in, in Arizona. So this is good stuff, dude. I appreciate you coming over and hanging out with me, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a hell of a run, yeah. but unfortunately, New Mexico will be my last really? one. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, him and I are moving. Not only we're moving off in the sand, uh, we're, we'll be live streaming in October the big uh, – uh, Camp Sand. Razor. Okay, okay. Polaris. Oh, nice. I'm moving up, dude. Nice. I'm moving up to corporate shit. Nice. Polaris is... And they, and they nice. pay well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's going to be over 100,000 people there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I don't... I'll be really straight up and transparent. I don't know how we're going to do it. When you get that many people together, it's hard to live stream. Because there's so many sucking you down, but the good thing is, is got the we're, we're all Starlink now. We're running off a of Starlink right yeah. now, and dude, it's no problem. Now we got them mounted. I got two razors, two Starlinks, yep. and now him and I. So, so right after New Mexico, him and I are, are bouncing down into the sand. Live duning. Oh, cool! In the dunes, we did it last year. I tested it last year, bro. We're live on TikTok. Oh, nice! And I was actually commentating my dune ride. Nice. It was crazy. You can't do that with other other nope. programs. Nope. Or stuff. No. Nope. We got it figured out. It's cool. Nice. Thanks, dude. Thank I'm gonna you, get Billy. Taylor Holcomb over here. Appreciate Frank you. Greer, everybody. How? Oh, how they find you? Facebook. Oh yeah, Facebook. Yep. A, a to uh, Z. Frank Greer. Frank Greer. Yep. Or Frank Greer. Yep. Or A to Z. No, just Frank Greer. Just Frank Greer. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't have a like A to Z website. Or oh, you don't? No. No. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you. All right, man. Appreciate hey, you. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Go get them. Take care, guys. Hey, remember, I'll be sitting waiting on my cut. <laughs> Abel. Steak, steak. Steak, steaks. Abel, come here. All right, cool, man. Frank Greer, everybody. I'm going to get Taylor Holcomb over here in just a second, man, and uh, let's chat with him. Uh, and then uh, we're still on a rain delay, man. It's it's actually, I think we're socked in, Abel. We're, it's, not, it's not looking good, brother. Well, what'd you do? I Why mean, is it buzzing? It's, it's, I hear buzzing. You hear buzzing? In my ear. Did they get wet? It could have got wet, bro. Look at all the water on the ground. Oh, this is not good. Up. I know that that need new cord. This is not good down here. We are socked in, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's just it's the rain of back in the back. You can really see it. Um, that was good with Adam and Frank. Yeah. I want Taylor Holcomb next. Pretty good interviews. Those guys are good. I'm gonna go get Taylor. I'm gonna get which a drink of water. Which one's Taylor? He's actually right there. See the glasses? Yep. If you don't mind. Glass, green shirt? Yeah. So yeah, yeah okay, you're, being, okay. you're being summoned up to the tent. You're being summoned. <laughs> Billy Shaw's summoning you. Do you mind you. grabbing him for me? No, I don't mind at all. Do it. Let's do it. Gotcha, man. Uh, and then... Uh, you, and you said you want water? You want to grab your no, water brother, now? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Cam Abel. What's going on? I look... I don't know. Maybe because of the screen stuff. I'm like, I look dark. I can't even see it's myself. Brother, it's... <laughs> well, yeah. There's no sun. No sun. <laughs> We're under a tent. We're under a tent. Maybe and, we'll move out and of the I'm tent. A I am a little dark. You are a little dark. Me too. Uh, grab Taylor. I got Let's you. talk about... We're going to talk about painting uh, paint jobs for bodies. Taylor Holcomb from TH Designs is going to be joining me in just a second. And uh, unfortunately, like he said, man, uh, the... Uh, we don't have any sun here, so it's kind of hard to see us up underneath this tent. Maybe I can move this back, but we'll bring him up in just a little bit. If you guys are just joining us, we're on a rain delay here in uh, Salt Lake City. This is the 801 NPRC uh, Salt City Clash. It's the fourth annual. Four years they've been doing this, man. And uh, your last year's winner was um, uh, Eli Sardone. And we'll see if he can continue to uh, to, to progress and, uh, and dominate here. Uh, I, I don't see why he wouldn't. He, this is a, a track that he knows. Um, you know, the thing with... Uh, the thing with Eli is you have to understand something. He's come here for, this will be his fourth year. The first year, I've talked about this multiple, multiple times, but the first year he came here, he I believe he got, see, this is where I kind of get it backwards sometimes. I think the first year he came, he got second. 
the second year he got third, the third year he got first, and then this year is, uh, well, it's in a rain delay. So we'll find out if Eli can bring it home and, and bring home another W for uh, Super Speed and uh, SuperSpeedRC.com. Here in a minute, I'm waiting to get him up here. We're going to talk about uh, painting here in just a second. And, and while we, I'm telling you guys, we're socked in. It's, it's. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure what's going to happen uh, as as we move through this rain. But it's, it's, it's coming in on the backside over there, man. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. But uh, is what it is. Here he comes. Ah, look at that. He's got some bodies too. So if you look, so you're new out there. You're looking for a paint job. You're looking for something to do with your body. Here he comes. Taylor Holcomb is going to bring Scott's bodies coming up here. We can see how he paints. But we're going to have to get out into the uh, sun here. We don't have any sun, Taylor. But we're going to have to move so we can see these because we have no sun. Abel, you got to move us. Get us out here. And that way we can at least see the bodies. You guys can see what uh, see what's going on here, man. I don't want to touch it. It's so damn beautiful, bro. Holy cow! Look at this thing, Taylor Holcomb. What's up, brother? Thanks for joining me, man. I figured let's give uh, let's let's you know you're a sponsor of the race, so let's talk about what the heck's going on here. So listen, uh, I'd like to ask the first question: uh, wh How long you've been drag racing? RC cars have been oh, I need some headsets on this guy. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Taylor. I'm like, why can't I hear him? There you go. Abel, looking okay? We good? Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can hear you. Okay, there you Perfect. go. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing the drag racing. I think this is my third year now. But okay. I grew up drag racing full size cars okay. with my grandpa and everything. So nice. Fit right in. I'm an auto mechanic by trade. Too, okay. So it's always been. You're already cars. right there. Yep. So, but so how? But how? How? This paint thing, man. How long you been doing the paint part? Um, I started racing dirt track cars when I was a kid, and I didn't have money to buy any of the fancy bodies. So right. I dug around the hobby shop and found some airbrushes and played around with them and so i've always been into automotive art okay and then so i kind of figured out that doing these paint jobs people liked them love them it helps fund and yeah. put into some of these races and helps me travel around nice and do some of the races so. Well, um, so so how old were you when you started doing that Oh, uh, I was probably about twelve or twelve years old when I started airbrushing. So twelve stuff. years old, Taylor's like, I can't, aff I can't afford it. I got to fit. And then you pick up an airbrush yep. and just start start messing with it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody helping you. So what where did you get the airbrush from? I a hobby shop. I dug around and. Oh, you found the airbrush. Yeah, I found oh, the airbrushes okay. at the hobby shop, and then I was like, I saved, I mowed some lawns and saved up and got an airbrush. Nice. All just, on your own. Yeah. And That's just, a story. And then just started doing it and figured it out. And then I got out of it for quite a few years because I, you know, after high school, went to, you know, automotive trade school and all that stuff. So I kind of quit airbrushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I got back into doing this, I, I was like, well, I'm going to do these. So I started painting one more body. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> I forgot how much I really like doing this. And now last two years, hundreds of bodies. Is it is it like riding a bike, though? Did you pick it right back? I mean, what, were you... Were you it took me a little while to kind of figure it back out because, I mean, the paints themselves have changed a lot. And now there's access to, like, vinyl cutters that you yeah. can actually do at home. Where yeah. when I was younger, like, you had to, you know, hire a company to do that. Yep. Now you can do some of it in yeah. the house. Like, a lot of my stuff now, though, is liquid mask and hand cut. Okay. Um, like, this stuff's all freehand. This it's, is all freehand? Uh, this is vinyl cut. This is all freehand. Um, that's vinyl cut. But I do a lot of characters and different yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. That's you know, when I met you last yeah, year. We were talking dude, about the character. Yeah. Uh, what was the character you had? There was one here last year. What? what, what didn't you have a character? I got some Iron Man ones. Yes, yeah, yes. One of my guys, he runs some a lot of Iron yeah, Man Yeah, yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. I've done, I don't know, all <clears throat> Looney Tunes characters. Looney Tunes? I just did, I think, a Popeye and a... Got to be careful on that stuff, Bugs, though. When you start, you got to be careful on that stuff, man. They'll trademark Yeah, that. there is some weird stuff Ooh. about trademarking, too. But the thing is, I looked into some of that stuff and... Depending on how old it is and how much you change it. So if they so if you can prove that you hand drew it onto the thing first and then airbrushed it, it's technically falls under your artwork. Really? So it becomes your personal artwork. Even if it's Daffy Duck? Yeah. So it, there's like a weird <laughs> No they, kidding. They can hassle you for it, sure. but it, but if you've proved that you changed it slightly enough to don't you have to, to change it like thirty percent? Yeah, somewhere around yeah, that. yeah, yeah, twenty five, thirty percent, okay. somewhere around there. But. How do I know that? <laughs> Weird, Taylor, I, I know, weird, I, I know some thing. stupid things. Oh, yeah. um, now, when it comes to painting, uh, how do people find you? Uh, I got a 
site on Facebook, TH Designs. TH Designs. That's mainly where I do most of my stuff from there. I okay. don't, you know, because I'm just kind of a small yeah, no, racer so, guy. Yeah, so no website? Yep, no website. That's the only one that I run off of. You can, you can There's a link to my email there. Okay. Um, and do that. That's now, I, I'm gonna, easy way I, to I, do I'm it. I'm going to do like I've done with everybody else. I'm going to play dumb. Um, hey, uh, Taylor, my name is Billy. I'm, I, I, I want you to paint a body. Uh, how do the design and in the, in the, in the, the thought process behind coming up with the design, do you let them do it? Or uh, how, how does it work with you? Um, so, like, this type of stuff is just for the show. I just come up with this stuff because I want to do it. But as far as, like, a customer process, they'll they'll email me say, hey, I'm looking to get this. I want to get a body done. Yeah. I Basically, I have a set of questions in my head that I run down. What, okay. bo- what body do you want? Yep. Color. Um Give me three colors that you like and one color you don't like. Okay. And then from there, I'll just kind of bounce questions. We're getting wet, man. We're going to go back under here. Let's yeah. see. Uh, uh, we're going to come back. Move that camera back. We're getting wet, guys. Uh, you guys saw the bodies. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, I call in. I, okay, Taylor, I emailed you. I said, all right, man, I need, uh, I want uh, whatever. And then uh, and then you do it. So, uh, yep. So, I just run down, basically kind of bounce back and forth. Okay. Hey. You know, if there's any reference photos you like, it doesn't have to necessarily be on a bar C car. It can be a trailer you saw driving down the road yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then I can get an idea of what style, you know, you like. Yeah. And then I'll usually kind of put, think about it and then put a plan together. And then I'll just email them and say, hey, okay, here's my final plan. I'm going to do, you know, red flames over the nose with a blue outline some metal flake and whatever send it and then they're like okay that sounds good yeah paint it up have them approve it and then what's ship it out what's the craziest one you've done uh i mean some of the characters are pretty cool to do they're they're kind of crazy um what's the coolest character you've done um, I really like the Iron Man stuff. I do too. It's it's yeah. it's kind of cool because it, it it has really cool poses and yep. stuff like that. Yeah, but it, I like the colors. Yeah, the red, and that really, red and gold. They really pop. Yep. A lot of the people really like the the two different flames with the traditional style flames. Okay. with the true fire type of yep, stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Um, because it's really flashy. Yeah. You know, I've done some stuff that were like '80s kind of mini truck theme stuff. That's real. Uh, you know. It has a lot of super bright colors. It's really with dark under here. <clears throat> you know, with different, uh, you know, graphics. and. I call you up and I go, hey, Taylor, this is exactly what I want you to do. What's it cost? Uh, that body right there shipped would be somewhere around 180 if you bought the body from me. Um, I do keep shark bodies in stock. If it's something I don't have in stock, customers are more than welcome to just drop ship me drop whatever. Ship yeah. And then once I get it, I'll paint it. So I if somebody drop ship a body, what, what does that cost? Uh, it should just paint work starts at one twenty five, and okay. then it'll go up or down depending on what it is. The, des- the design. Yeah, it yeah, depends on if it's a super complicated design where I got to do a lot of hand cutting. It'll be you know around one fifty ish. That's fair. If it's um, if it's you know something that's just one solid color, you know. The more work you have to do, you got to charge for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> imagine that. Yeah, imagine know. that. <laughs> um, like now, that uh, sure. so okay, so now I, so now you've emailed me back, and I said, okay, man, I'm ready, and uh, I, I Venmo you the money. How long does it take for you to to, to, to turn around? Um, it just depends on how busy I am. Usually during the summertime, it's about a three week turnaround. Yes. Um, because I'm out doing some racing and stuff too myself. In the winter time, it can be as short as a week or two weeks because not as much racing going on. Yeah, I don't have as much going on, and I right. mean I have a day job too. So, and I'm in the mechanic field, so it it kind of slows down a little bit in the winter time. So I have a little more time to cool. do it. Yeah, and then you know obviously if somebody's got <laughs> somebody's got something that they need for a specific race or something, I can usually kind of you know bang work, it out, work around, yeah. and. You know, I know this guy doesn't need it for a while. I can. <laughs> That's my life. You know, hey, I need to get it. like I, like like uh, my guy that does my tents. Hey, I need to get a tent. Okay, I need it tomorrow though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> he hates me, dude. I call him all the. Hey, bro, I need this yeah. right now. I need it. Need it. Need it. Ah, oh, god dang it! Like that sign up there he did for me, and I go, dude, I need it like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I get it though. You you you, you if you yeah. need it quicker, you gotta you gotta pay a little extra. Yeah. Um, exactly. What uh, now? Any bodies? You, you you have no preference. I mean, you can do anything and everything. Uh, yeah. Just drag. You do crawlers. You I do mainly, any dirt. I, I mainly do drag racing because I'm out doing a lot of this. But I've done pretty much. If you can put paint on it, I've tried to paint it. I mean, I've done 
those tiny little 16th scale yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. really hard to do grab. I was going to say, they're those, small. Those got to be but hard. I mean, but yeah, I do a lot. I do crawler bodies, buggy bodies. So you do? Pretty much if it's clear Lexan, I'll paint it. Send it. But I mean, even even local guys, I mean, I've painted some mailboxes and side, mailboxes. Mailboxes. Sides. That's cool. Actually, if you come in my kitchen and look, I've got the, the toasters painted, the Stand up, my wife's stand up mixers all flaked <laughs> like a low rider. Nice, dude. That's cool. So, I love it, dude. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I, you know, I met you here last year. No, 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 Oregon. Oregon, I met I you. I think I met you here first, and then you were in Oregon. Then Oregon. Right Is that after. what it was? Yeah. Yeah, because I, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and then Oregon. I saw you in Hawaii. Yeah, and then in Hawaii. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. Uh, how, so, so, how are things going? You doing, I mean, doing a lot of paint jobs? Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, it's. It's paying for most all my traveling for the summer. Uh, let's, talk, racing, let's, so. let's talk about the racing part of it. You uh, From here, where are you going? You got any, anything else uh, that you plan? We're going to do Vegas next. Okay. And then Which is in October. October, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, Supers Race over there. Yep, I, yeah, I, I don't know the dates. I'm not doing uh, that one. It's so. end October, like 23rd. Is that or what something it is? Like that. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we may try to do the Toys for Tots one in December. Um they were talking about maybe moving it to Arizona. I had heard something, uh, I don't but know yet. I don't. I'm I not don't. even on I Facebook. Got, <laughs> I, I got to take them one at a time because I can't remember. It's so, too much. Yeah, There's so, so many so races, I'll, man. Basically, we'll do this race. We know we're going to Vegas, and then once we're done with Vegas, I might try to do one more this year, but... Can I tell you how uh, how like dumbfounded I am right now that there's rain? Oh, I've yeah, been I watching know. this weather for... Uh, two weeks. Yeah, I've been watching every weather app, every weather, everything. Yep. Never said anything about this it until the, I was. We, we are socked in, bro. Yeah, Never we said are a half so- inch, right? This this is supposed to dump a half inch. Half right? inch. Yeah. I should probably take my cameras down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think it's letting up at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we we might have a problem. <laughs> all that's getting wet up there. Oh, you! I didn't realize that's you had all my camera shit, roof. dude. Yeah. It's still going. Look, we're still running. Oh, yeah. oh I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize you still got the track. Uh, yeah, going. I do. Well, I put us on uh, so people could see the track. Let's show you how much it's raining right now. Yeah. Look at that, guys! It's oh, coming yeah. down Bad. right now. It's it's just coming down. My fan is getting ruined. <laughs> That's my fan. <laughs> <laughs> my big orange fan. <laughs> anyway, Taylor, I, I just wanted to grab you. you know, I, I told you to do something for you. The last time I saw you, man, I needed to make up for yep. it to make sure you, you're good. Yep. And, uh, dude, I love it. I love your paint jobs, man. If you guys are looking for anything uh, paint-wise, uh, hit up Taylor, T- TH Designs. Yeah, TH Designs on um, Facebook. It looks like this. The TH kind of looks like that. Yep. TH Designs right there. I believe there's, if you get on the Salt City Clash page too, I think Christina had put a link to my page from there too. Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. I, I'm pretty, I can't believe that that camera, brother, is still on. I, I can't believe it. Look at it. It's still it's on. Good. I can't believe it. But is, are we st- is it still live on Facebook? I don't even know if we're live on Facebook.